Wicked, wicked, wicked. What's up, gamers and game fans alike? Mayhem here, coming at you from another installment of Scum. I am looking at my YouTube here. I've made some changes, and it's saying excellent connection, stream offline. That is not what we want. Okay. We've got something here now. I made some changes to the way I'm streaming, trying to get a little better quality. I was watching back a couple of things, and it didn't look uh, didn't look so hot. There's a lot of, I don't know, a lot of loss of detail. Looked a bit fuzzy. So hopefully this is better. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you all are well. We are going to be making another attempt at a plane, but I don't want to do it in the dark again. I'm getting tired of making attempts in the dark. We're going to go do the rounds, check up on some regular spots here, trying to pass the nighttime by. Among those spots is the hospital because I want to make more landmines. You can see we only have a couple and we need some more. Uh, but I need pens. I need pens if I'm going to make landmines. That's really what's holding me back. Uh, maybe we go to the trader first. We'll start off with the trader, I think. I've got a ton of stuff in my cell box. And I'm curious if I can buy pens, how much they might cost. And, uh, you know, if, if it's even something that can be purchased. Not everything can be. I know you can sell pens. So I sort of expect they'll, they'll be there. Let's go find out. The rest of the stuff you can buy, right? Except the scrap metal. But making landmines is... It's a process of simple standards, right? It's a, it's a scrap metal, some kind of plastic bottle, gunpowder, and a pen, and duct tape, I think. Yes, duct tape. And then a tool bed, a toolbox. And you can buy basically all of that stuff. Let's go see if you can buy the pen. And clean up our inventory, too. That's actually something I probably should have done before stream. I've got my number five box, which is all the stuff that I'm going to distribute into the base. It's full. It's not full full, but it's got four or five backpacks full of stuff that I just don't need to be carrying around with me. And it's little things like pens or batteries, uh, a couple of toolboxes in there. That's all right. It won't be slowing us down any. No more than the armor is. This armor is definitely pretty heavy. But the truck's good and powerful. I feel the armor mostly on corners where I'm going too fast into the corner and I need to brake. So it's it's mainly affecting the braking and then uphill uh, acceleration is severely lacking. Well, I, I don't know that severely is fair. It's somewhat noticeable. It's a more fair representation. But for the protection it offers, I, I think it's well worth it. So yeah, we're going to go see what a pen costs. And then we'll go up to the hospital and loot around there for some odds and ends. The pens are pretty common in those admin buildings. After that, I don't know, maybe hit the, the scrapyard. Once we have a clean cell box, grab some rager wheels, see what else we might find. Just going to kind of tootle about until we get daylight, which hopefully won't be too long. It should be during the stream, I would hope. And maybe I'll just get bored enough with the things that I'm trying to do to occupy myself that we'll turn around and head towards the airport and say, who cares, we'll do it in the dark. I'm willing to sacrifice another night vision. This next attempt should be a success anyway. Judging by how everything has gone so far, I think the next attempt is going to be successful. The D4 airport kind of kind of kicked my butt. It was trying to leave the ground there that actually caused the problem for me. And replaying the moment over in my head, there's a number of things I could have done better if I had less panic and more awareness. Getting some weird stutter here, and it's not my frames. They're up at 7580. I think it's the server rubber banding, maybe? It's a little bit uncomfortable. I wonder if that has to do with the changes I made to the streaming. It is definitely going to eat up a little bit more bandwidth, so we'll just have to uh, test things out as we go here. 
good news is zero dropped frames at this point. That's something. Hopefully it looks a little more clear on y'all's end. So I can't stand watching a low quality video and I don't want to put y'all through that if I don't have to. Little, little bits, one step at a time, we're going to make things better as we go. Okay, this guy's going to buy a whole bunch of what I have to offer. In that right, sir. In that right. Keep that M9 mag. Why would I sell that? M9's my handgun. Boom, boom. How many lights do you think we have in here? What, what is happening? Can we just do this? That's weird. Weird little glitch. Normally you can drag things out onto the ground, but see how it's kind of... Looks like the model's halfway in the ground there? I don't like that. Okay, we're going to keep this battery, because even though I'm running out of room back at base, I can break them down into lead plates and use them for crafting ammo, which is something I should do soon to clean up some of our inventory back at base. I could craft up a whole bunch of 5.56 ammo, and that would be good for everybody, really. Look at all these lights, man. We've been saving up for a while here. Bumper more lights. I think I'm going to hold on to the Rager lights because I've been going through mine a little bit more rapidly lately. So I might end up needing them. Look at that weird floating pile. What's up with that? Alright buddy, I got things for you. What do you say? You want these things? Boom, boom. Look at all these lights. I'm not even counting them. It's too many. Too many to try to count. It is going to be a very long sell list, though. I'm going to have to go through it a little bit carefully, make sure I'm not selling my clothes by accident. Sometimes you'll have a thing selected in your inventory, and you'll sell it to a trader without meaning to. Looks like it's all lights. All lights. All lights. A couple of car jacks lights. Okay. $12,000 worth of lights right there. You can't complain. That's a pretty good deal for me. Boom. And then there's a bumper and another light here, too. Another $1,400. Alrighty, then. Uh, yeah, we'll hold on to these guys. I might end up using them, sadly. But what I can do is put them in my spare parts box. Um... We could fix up these two wheels right here. I think the rest of this stuff is going to be general goods or the armory. Right? Let's just organize this box. Pull things up towards the top here. I'm going to keep that magazine. Maybe I keep these pants. All these clothes can be turned into good rags and uh, used as bandages after they've been disinfected. So, the battery's a keep. Boom. Holster. I think we have enough holsters. I'm going to keep it. I can't can't help myself. We'll sell this one, though. And we got a pair of binoculars on hand. We don't need to hold on to those. The gas mask is tempting. I kind of like the white, but I think we'll sell it. It's up at 100% condition. We'll get a good, good buck for it. So, this is all that's left in here now. We tidied it up quite a bit. And I suppose I could take it one step farther, dump stuff for the general goods trader right in the backpacks. That'll make it even easier for me when the time comes to sell those. There, that's not going to fit. These won't fit. We're getting right towards the end. How about like this? General goods. General goods. I think all of what's left here goes... Oh, maybe the metal detector doesn't even fit okay let's make room for these backpacks now just like that and we gotta move the metal detector so the rest of this stuff goes to the armorer at the armory boom like that metal detector oh so much cleaner right We'll take a look at that number five box real quick. 
Each of these backpacks has good crafting materials, toolboxes, that kind of stuff in there. And we got a little room. Oh yeah, I did a handgun run just to kind of replenish our supplies back at base. So those things can be built back up. Handguns tend to get lost when you die and then, you know, the problem is at base we have, um, or because we have progressed so far, we're not doing police stations and looking through people's drawers anymore. We're mainly going to the high loot spots. We've got tons and tons of rifles, but the handguns get left behind. We don't even, we don't even go to places where we would find them. So, okay, that's number five. And then we're going to open up box number six right here. Spare parts. A couple of charged batteries, a couple of headlights for when I inevitably run into something hard. And we're going to grab a couple of repair kits because the thing to do with Rager wheels is to sell them. And sell them at full condition. Remove right here. Take in hand, repair, remove, so that gives us two wheels to sell and one wheel to keep. Just like that. The system makes a little more sense if you've got 10, 15, 20 wheels, then you kind of understand, okay, this is well worth it. For two, it's debatable if it's worth the effort. But the, uh, the margins of profit between a 50% wheel and a 100% wheel, the math maths, trust me. Uh, 265, 60 R18, 1,275 each. That's another $2,500. Easy money. And then if we wanted to, actually, this is something we could do right now. And this might be even better than looking for pens. We could go look for repair kits rather than buy them. Save us a bunch of money. So we're running low, and we've been running low for days. They just don't seem to be popping up in the normal spots. Which is intolerable. What are they doing? Pop up. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's browse around. Yeah, doesn't look like... Doesn't look like he sells pens, does it? Oh, for a second I thought that was TNT. And you can't blame me. It sure looks it, doesn't it? Okay, filtered results. Why? Tools, crafting materials. We've got thread, rebar cutters, razor blades. Here's gunpowder. No pens. All right. That's interesting. I'm almost not surprised. There had to be a couple of components, or at least one component. Well, I guess the scrap metal, but that's easy to find. So one rare component of that recipe for making a landmine that was unpurchasable. Otherwise, it would just be a little too easy, wouldn't it? All right, let's sell these backpacks, get them out of the truck. We'll stop by the armorer. We'll buy some MREs, some 9mm, and we'll look and see if he possibly sells... The pens? I don't think he will, but we'll check. Okay. Let's see what you have. Looks good. 1,386 from that backpack. This other backpack's even more packed full. I don't know how valuable this stuff is, but there's more stuff in it. Alright, and then this is everything that's left. We should probably repair these, because they're worth quite a bit of money in full condition. What else should we get while we're here? Maybe I'll grab another sewing Welcome repair kit. Welcome. How's mine Feel looking? Free to browse around. 12 out of 30 is not bad. Yeah, let's sell this thing in our hand, and then we'll buy another sewing repair kit. Yeah, a couple more items in this bag, which you can plainly see, and it sells for 1300 so not too shabby. The bag itself, of course, being branded is worth a little bit more than a regular bag. Right, repair kits. Here's what I've got. Sewing kit. Boom. 
How much for one of these electrical repair kits? Uh, I think this is four times the size for twice the price of the, right, this is your other option, the electrician's tools, which does the same job as the repair kit. But you get 100 uses out of a repair kit, 25 out of the electrician tools. Pretty sure that's how that goes. So we'll buy one of these too, because I'm going to need it back at base for doing a uh, couple of little projects. A couple of little projects. I want to put a, a new remote door sensor on the door that I use all the time, because mine's starting to get really quite worn out, and I don't expect it's going to last much longer. Uh, so we've got a 30 out of 30 right here. I'm going to fill this up with MREs. Let's just grab that. doesn't need to be there. And box number five is where we'll put the repair kit because that's where I'll expect it to be. Oh, didn't fit. You know what? I forgot to announce the stream in my Discord. Let me just take a second here to do that. Go to our stream time channel here. Still in search of our next airplane. Come join me as I fail upward. There we go. All right. Um, silly, silly. I have things to sell here. Don't really care about the 357. I think I have one somewhere anyway. It might even be in the truck somewhere. Not a big deal. We're going to sell it. If I need another one, I'll come across it eventually. I might hit more police stations today, too. I kind of like having spare handguns. That's a very nice thing to just have around base. What's up? All right. Guns come you, unloaded. sir, will buy all of this. 429, 217. Those are big numbers for small gear. Looking good. That thing registered. <laughs> Kidding. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. 1900 bucks. Make sure I'm not selling something that's mine by accident. Happened too many times if you couldn't tell. Guns come unloaded. Security reasons. Okay, no pen. Obviously. No pens. What else do you have that I need? Food for sure. And a box or two, a nine millimeter, I think. Let's get two boxes of nine millimeter. Which would be under ammunition, quite obviously. If I had my head screwed on straight. I would know that. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Whale, whale, whale. I guess I'm going to have to keep a box in my inventory. That's not really going to work. Let's put a box right here. And then I guess we'll put a box up above the bedroll, which is not normally where it belongs, but it'll be okay. Yeah, because I can't get a, a single block out of everything else. Oh, that'll be fine. All right, let's go hit some vehicle repair spots, which is going to be going across the bridge. We'll hit the dirt bike track, the gas station in Z1, the vehicle workshops in the Z3 town, Z2, Z3. I'm always a little unsure of what the designation is there. Gives us a little project to focus on until the sun hopefully comes up for us, which is going to be a while. But this little traveling, this bit of traveling here should occupy us quite a while.
Come on. Oh boy. Losing control. That's that armor weight right there. I'm starting to get the hang of it now. It's coming back to me. You know, I wonder if I don't have the fame points to buy armor right now. I might not. Which kind of stinks. I was up over 500 not so long ago. When I started the airplane journey, I was up over 500. Trying to, trying to learn how to steal an airplane will cost you fame points. My goodness, will it ever. And those little babies take their time to build up. I think you get one every 20 minutes you play, and then they're allocated for other activities within the game. You know, killing puppets. Uh, I think probably just about everything you do that gains you experience would give you some amount of fame points. I'm not positive about that. It just seems correct. So repairing the truck probably gives you portions of a fame point. And of course, you only get the full full points displayed in the top right, but there's a behind the scenes calculation that is partial points, right? You get like 0 .0035 for killing a puppet or something, something to that extent. back on the main road here. There's a couple different ways we could have gone. It might have been faster to go the other way to the west, but I know this path pretty well, and I don't travel it so much these days, just because of where the, the base is now versus where it used to be. I don't have a whole lot of incentive to come down this way. The only thing out here is the airport, really, and a bunker, but I'm not hitting any bunkers right now. I think Pawn is kind of excited to hit some bunkers with us later, so I'm going to save that and wait until uh, till he comes online before I start crushing bunkers. Interesting. I don't exactly understand Discord sometimes. It says I have new messages, or new unreads, but I don't know what is unread. It doesn't show anything that I haven't read yet. Sometimes there could be a car down here at this little paddock, so it's worth taking a look as you drive by. It's pretty easy to spot. It'd be right next to the road. Nothing this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm just about convinced that they changed this night vision because the black is so much blacker. It used to all be green, and there was almost nothing that was really black. Now it's... it's definitely very, very dark. Alright, let's hit the... let's hit the airfield real quick, too, since it's on the way. Maybe we find a good screwdriver there or something. An advanced lockpick. Who knows? All kinds of goodies could be up there. Maybe somebody flew an airplane there and we could lockpick it open. There was a while when we were keeping our airplane up there, before the new base with the hangar built into it. This was the real move. There wasn't, there wasn't anywhere to safely land the plane at our old base. I think Corpse tried once or twice. I don't, I don't know if he even managed to put wheels down. I think just getting close he realized the trees are too dense here. It's just not really going to work. But the new spot we're at, there's a whole big area to use as a landing strip and a walled-in section of the base that functions perfectly as a hangar, and that is excellent. Ooh, look at this. No engine. But it's got two wheels on it and a driver's seat. Let's pull out our number four box and just take a look, make sure I have all the stuff that I think I have. That's going to be this one. 91. Yeah, okay. Oh, gosh. I have more than I thought I had. Okay. This headlight can get moved out of the way. I love rolling around with squad mates. Let me say that up front. But when you have a fairly complicated system of organization that works very well for you, inviting someone into your little world can be a bit annoying but I wouldn't trade it for anything. 
metal pipe. What is that even doing here? Okay. Oh, you know what? That's not. I'm not being fair. I was letting Thor use this as his dump box, so I, I take it all back. I'm being rude. Um, I don't need anything for my kit, my recovery kit. I've got some extras, even. Let's just grab us a jack, pull off these wheels and lights, burn the truck, and then we'll loot the, the airfield here. Remove. Feels good to have a nice clean cell box. We can just dump this stuff right in there and be pretty confident that there's room for it. Grab that light. This light. You know what? Let me turn off the night vision here. Because if it's got a front bumper, I'll grab that too. No, it doesn't. Okay. Just like that. And now the fun part. Good night to you, sir. Good night. I don't know for sure, but I get the feeling that torching different areas of the vehicle does more damage to it. I think that the lingering flames might actually do damage over time. I'm feeling slightly warm. Yeah, I bet you are standing right next to a burning vehicle. Oh yeah, that's that's roasted. Okay. I think circling it does help. It really do. Let's drink a little bit. I'm gonna die of thirst here. Uh, what do we get? 10? Let's do 20%. That'll be about 4 drinks out of this. Just about four. And uh, we're going to head in now. Rotisserie car, that's right. That's where all the flavor comes from. It's the same old, same old. I've got my things that I like doing, and I just stay doing them. That and looking for pens so I can make more landmines. I'm hoping that the sun will come up pretty soon so we can go make another attempt at stealing an airplane. I don't really feel like doing that in the dark again. Didn't go so well last time. And look at this, an airplane repair kit, as if the scum world knows what I need right now. Come on, show me a pen, would ya? Little bit of wire, we got tons of that stuff. Not bringing any of that back right now. And these can't be searched, but all these little cardboard boxes, I think these are good places to find pens. Or bricks, apparently. Maybe an advanced lockpick? Oh wow, an enforced lock just lying on the table. That doesn't happen every day. There is some kind of red light. Oh, I wonder if that's the little streaks of red. I wonder if that's the burning truck kind of leaking through the wall a little bit. Bolts for plenties. Don't need any bolts. I picked up Way more than enough of those at this point. 
and some thread, which we can use to make sewing kits, of course. But it's not the pen that I came here for. Come on. There's got to be one or two pens, right? Okay. A 35 out of 40 screwdriver? It's not a pen, but I'm happy to have it. Definitely do some lock picking. There's a, a mine component right there. Nice little water bottle. Throw that in with the stash. I like to do a whole bunch at once. So the next time I build landmines, if I could make another 15 or 20 all at the same time, that would be ideal. So then it becomes a session, a goal, a thing I can sink my teeth into and get a whole bunch done. And that changes, changes things, right? When you do one or two at a time, I don't really feel like I'm making big progress. So it's hard to motivate myself, but if I can dig in for 15 or 20, yeah, that's progress. Nice, another parachute. We could set up a whole team of paratroopers now. We've got, I think, three or four parachutes back at base. Cabinets? That seems like a good place for a pen to hide. Also, I think I've seen a good number of pens at the junkyard, but not not the, the junky ones, the ones at the south end in the uh, administrative building. I think I often find pens there, so that might be a place to look. This is all going to be trash, so it's pretty much low-quality stuff, right? And somebody locks these buildings around the server. I don't know who they are or why. But it doesn't seem like there's ever anything in there. They just put locks on the doors. Random. Pair of gloves. Unneeded. We've got lots of those. Almost time to move on from here. We're having zero luck. Well, that's, that's not fair. We found some really good stuff. But I'm looking for pens. Show up for the pens, stay for the parachutes. That should be the motto. Nice kitchen knife. You can stay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I've had enough of this. It's not working out the way I wanted it to. We'll move on. As far as selling any of this, I suppose I could sell the pipe wrench and the wire cutters. I have an abundance of those. More than I need because I can always repair the few that I have. And then we'll dump uh, dump the good stuff into this police bag here. Uh, incorrect. Into this green bag here. Okay, 40 out of 40. Go like this. I got so many screwdrivers, it almost looks like I'm cheating. I definitely need to start using them up. Hop on out and fuel up. I don't know if there's anything really... Oh, no, don't, don't drink it. Goodness gracious. What's going on? Oh, I... Huh. I thought you would vomit instantly if you ever drank a... even a little mouthful of gasoline. B0. Oh, that's up north of the junkyard? Should we go get that? I think we should. We're gonna get there nice and early, too. We can... Hide the truck off in the woods by the wall, maybe. Set up a bit of an ambush in case somebody else comes after it. There are a few other people online right now, to be sure. We'll just listen for footsteps and aggro zombies. And then we'll go in and bust the thing down real quick. Here's a little bit of a plan, too. I won't do anything right now. I'm going to wait until I get there and I get set up and I'm feeling secure in my position. And then I'll blast out a message in global chat and ask if anybody's going to go hit that thing and just see what people say, see who's online. 
what kind of feedback I get. Could be friends of mine. I know a good number of the players that, that hang out on this server now, just because I spend so much time here. But I don't know everybody, and not everybody's friendly. One thing I'm pretty sure of, I don't think Naval PE is going to go after it. He hangs out on the west coast. I don't know if I've ever seen him over on the east coast. So how's y'all's Friday going? Got big weekend plans? Anything coming up? I know right now for me the only thing I can focus on is trying to get a hold of this plane. That's what I need. Work, work, work. It never does end, does it? I think I still prefer the night vision. I always check. I want to like the headlights more than the night vision, but ready for bed already and it's only 9.30. Oh my. I don't blame you though. When I'm, I mean, it depends on the type of work I'm doing. Because I've been streaming, I'm staying up a little later. But when I was driving truck, I would try to wake up between 3 and 5 in the morning. And I would normally be in bed between 7 and 8, asleep by 9 nothing wrong with that. If you're working hard and you're earning the sleep, it's important that you get it. Get it when you need it. You know, that's... never mind, I'm not going to say that out loud, but I know right where that package is dropping because it's, it's a relevant location. Not on this server, but in the alternate server. Getting that little bit of rubber banding again. Not a big fan of that. take this up to the next four-way intersection, hang a right, and then we're going to drive off of that road up into the woods. I do wonder if there's anyone around who's going to try and get this, uh, get this drop. Maybe we could even... We'll go past the four-way intersection, so if there is someone around, they hear us continue on and think maybe we're not a threat. User 22, do you know if there is a way to change the camera angle of your character in Scum? Um, do you mean between first and third, like this? Because that's number pad enter. And then the other option is you can tap alt, left alt, on the keyboard to get different, uh, to get like a free cam versus a locked in cam, right? I can't move this cam, left alt. Now I can rotate around my character. Those are the camera controls that I know about. So, oh, that's uh, Q and E. When you're in third person, Q and E. Yeah, I forgot about that one. I do that all the time, but it just, I don't know, it didn't occur to me right there. Hey, no problem. Always glad to help. Let's find a nice bush here. That's not really, that's not thick enough to do the job. This is a little better. I still feel like it's absolute 
garbage, but it's something. It's a little bit of cover. And Thor is finally warming up to the idea of painting the trucks more of a camouflage color. So I might take advantage of his newfound willingness and we might change the company colors from black and red to something more like, oh, I don't know, green and brown. Two, four, six, and what do we have here? A couple of fully crafted bundles. Let's just one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull all those out of there. And I think I'm also going to switch over away from the ACOG simply because it's nighttime and night vision does not work with the ACOG. But I can look down the holographic site with the night vision on. Okay. Drop is going to be in this direction. Let's pull out a base building element here and drop it down so I can find my way back. Okay, I think this might be the actual clearing. Yeah, we're not far at all. Let's see what everybody has to say out here. Anybody going for that drop? Let's see if anybody will fess up. Yeah, Q and E. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about that. Yeah, it feels weird when you get stuck over the left shoulder, doesn't it? I normally play over the right shoulder. But then sometimes you need to hold over to look around a corner for a mech or whatever. And you get you get messed up. Okay, let's see. What do we have in the sky? Looks like I don't see anything right now. What if I turn off night vision? Nothing. Yeah, it looks weird. Oh, look, Naval's online. I was pretty sure I wouldn't see you here. <laughs> yeah, it does make it a little more enjoyable, right? Feels more comfortable. It's just kind of off-putting, that's all. Or find a nice bush to hide in. I've been known to occupy a bush or two in my day. Yeah, there's uh, there's two other people online, Naval. Hopefully, this is the one with, goodness gracious, the RPG and... The 50 cal. It won't be, but hopefully it is. Alright, let's do a little crafting while we're sitting here. Might as well prepare ourselves for what's to come. The auto craft button is such a blessing. Oh, it's crow. Okay. Alright, so that's three of the four. There's only one wild card right now. Naval, you worry me. I've seen you PvP, and I always feel threatened. He's pretty good. How y'all doing this Friday evening? Oh my goodness. My typing hands are not working right now. Alright, there it is. Nice little drop. You usually beat me and my squad mates when we ran events. I don't know if he remembers that. 
He sounds genuinely surprised. Come on, man. Hey, I'm right here. Hello? Hey, zombie. If they're no good for conversation, what's the point in having them around? Wrong button. There we go. Got double silencer on the bow, so you can shoot from pretty darn close and they won't hear you. But they will hear your footsteps if you get close enough. Arrow delivery. Heard you ordered an arrow. Well, thanks for bringing it to me. Let's flip off this night vision. No, don't flip it off. It's doing a good job. We'll just shut it down for now. There we go. What do we think? Are we going to get one of those Ru Russian mobster kits in here? The red backpack with the sweater and everything? That seems pretty common. It's either that and or milk and water. That was a pretty bad lock pick right there. There, that was a little better. Oof. I don't know if I'm trying too hard or not hard enough. Okay. Opens up all doors in the Z2 bunker. I think that gets us into an abandoned bunker, right? All right, this stuff... I can't say no to a 20 out of 20 fresh box, but... Sledgehammer and axe. I might end up dropping these if I don't have room. They sell all right, but they take up a lot of space. VSS. Okay, electrician's tools I like. Yeah, you know what? Put that in my hand. I guess I'm just going to drop this, make a little room. I'm not too worried about those gloves. All right, I searched all that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. MREs. Nice free meal. I'm not even taking the soda. I don't care for it at all. C4 circuit board. Okay. Can't say no to that. Just put that in my hand and run with it. Found a VSS and a C4 circuit board. Other than that, just a couple MREs and building mats. Okay. Well, that was uncontested. Kind of expected something, maybe. But nothing. Not at all. What's our gamma at? Should we turn that up? We're gonna be... Oh, it is. It is up. Seems dark, doesn't it? Not too shabby. Gun, no ammo, though. Wouldn't help a fresh player much. Alright, let's make some determinations here. We're definitely keeping... Almost all of this. I think the only thing I'm going to sell is the axe and the rebar cutter. Really don't need those at the moment. Let's uh, line stuff up like this so when we do go and get wheels, which I guess we could do right now considering how close we are to the junkyard. Oh, the gun. I don't really need that, do I? Got like five of them. Airdrop color. IDK. 
seems always green, smoke, yellow, capsule. Alright, box number five, the things we keep. Nice big toolbox. Oh, I'm gonna sell the knife. I don't know why I, uh, I didn't recognize that at the time. No more room there. The MREs, I guess I'll just stuff them in here for now. I'll probably forget about them, but they don't really spoil too quickly, so that's okay. Just like that. Wait, is there more than one? I think the smoke is always green and the container is always yellow. Oh. Okay. They're having a different conversation. I misunderstood. C4 circuit board. Oh, I should have thrown that in right here. Let's go get some wheels. Here's the hoping nobody I know is at the junkyard. That's another one of those kind of hot spots, especially if you're building a base. Junkyard's a great place to get lots and lots of metal scrap. So that's like a... That's a hot spot for someone who's pretty well geared up, right? Your average new player is not going to go to the junkyard because it's just not that valuable there unless you have a vehicle. That's my personal opinion. Or if you're close by and you're running backpacks back and forth. Fixed basic locks and the rest of the inventories are bugged. Uh, what is he talking about? Devs. What do you mean inventory is bugged? Inventory seems fine to me. They just fixed the the battery charger. That's the only thing I saw that was bugged. Oh, I've gone too far. Try and keep our eyes open here and ears. We're going to listen for the number of zombies nearby. Listen for any zombies going aggro in the distance. We're looking for cars if there's a player vehicle nearby. Moving stuff or the inventory of containers stays empty for a long period before your stuff appears. Oh, well that's, I mean, that's just a server side thing. It takes time to load the information and share it. Seems worse after recent update. Okay. He's saying locks. I think he means lockers. I'm guessing. A dirt bike wheel. I did find a dirt bike, which I filled up with a bunch of fuel, and it's missing just the front tire. But I'm setting it aside for a friend, so I'm not going to bring the tire, because I'm afraid if I assemble the whole thing, somebody will happen across it by chance and just ride it away. So I'm leaving it unassembled that way. If he wants it, he can go grab it. And if not, somebody else can run to the junkyard and run back if they want. That's fine. I don't really need it, so. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at all those 
$1,275 each once we get them fixed up. That is a healthy bit of profit. Lots of Rager tires here today. This is a solid score. Maybe we'll go down the far end and check for pens. Uh, excuse me. Wait, what is happening here? That's so weird. Okay. Scoot right along now. We're going to leapfrog you back to the truck. Just like that. It's a grid pattern with a code, even zero if empty. Or for item and amount. Checking each spot takes the same time as a zero for a short string of numbers. Yeah, unless it loads zero as default, and then it has to pull the information from the server. I, I do kind of understand what he's saying, but... He's a, he makes mods for other games, and he's looking forward to making mods for this game, so I think his, his level of caring about detail is a little higher than mine. I just think the game is fun, and that's enough for me. Yeah. Don't forget, each item has many associated stats also. Durability, inventory, etc. Yeah, different colors. When you put stuff into wardrobes and chests, it can have a full inventory. So a backpack is an inventory inside an inventory. That's going to slow down loading times. So far, things seem pretty quiet over here. Actually, I'm not even having any puppet encounters at all right now, which I find surprising. Nice fire helmet, the red kind. Hose, we don't really need that. I do need to craft up a few flamethrowers, though. I keep forgetting to do that. And I have multiple people wanting them. Look at that pen. That's what I'm here for. Ain't that nice. Oh, shoot. Good medical gloves? What is going on right now? We're getting blessed. Nice big toolbox, 50 out of 100. Cookbook, another padlock. I don't really need the cookbook, I'm just gonna leave it. I think they sell for about 50 bucks. I don't know if it's even really worth taking the time. Zero by zero percent is a string or, yeah, excitem amount float percent. Yeah, I mean, it's he's right. It's not that much information to transfer. I wonder if they are throttling it to help with rubber banding or physics ticks. Because that said, I'm getting rubber banding today, which I've never had happen before. Only when I was riding in someone else's vehicle, but never in my own. Okay, we're not really collecting bolts and nails today, which is difficult for me. I like collecting those things, but we've got enough right now. And I know how to find more. And they take up a lot of space if you collect all of them. It just adds up quickly is all. the same lag. I don't I don't know exactly what that means. I think I know what that means, but I'm not positive. Nice, that was a fat cell phone battery right there. That's alright, I don't mind a slow loading time inside my base. 
when I'm out here in the world, if I had to wait for these things to, to load up when I search through them, that would definitely bother me. Look at that, 200% pens. It's not every day that you come across that. What do we have? Set of batteries on the ground. I don't think I'm even going to mess with those. They're pretty low voltage, even when they're brand spanking new. And these, of course, aren't. Um, it doesn't tell you what the voltage is. I guess it's probably relative to the amp hours. But the night vision has a minimum requirement. And you'll see that as the battery starts to grow weaker, any battery that's powering the night vision, you get these lines and distortions in the image. So for the most part, I just stick with smartphone batteries. I'll switch over to 9 volts if I'm desperate and I find them. But for the most part, I, I just try to stick with uh, well-charged cell phone batteries. Seems to be the better option. Look at that, an 80%. It's a 5 out of 10, 77. So maybe this indicates the 5 out of 10 is how much charge is in it, maybe? Does that seem right? It does actually seem like it might be right. Okay. If we tapped this out. I could do the downstairs, but it's not going to have... It's not likely to have the loot that I'm looking for right now. Two pens makes me happy, though. That's a step in the right direction. And five. Okay, yeah, that backpack's full. I know that. Let's see, remove these down. Put another 20 out of 20 in here. And a 19 out of 20. And then just start moving stuff over into this backpack. And if my batteries go dead on me while I'm out and about, I need to remember that there's four or five smartphone batteries in backpacks. I think that they became more common recently because I, I never find them. And in the last couple of days, I've found four or five, something like that. Thor found a few. I found a few. Okay. We need to go do this bunker. We've got two days. That's a whole weekend. That actually works out really nicely. Cruise the south end of the scrapyard here. Let's see if we can find a vehicle. Pop some headlights off of it. <laughs> There's a vehicle. No engine. There, we got him to fall. Let's hop out, hop out, hop out. Okay, we're hearing a lot going on out in the woods, so we're just going to try and keep our ears open for players. See if we hear those player-type footsteps. Let's pull out the gun here, switch it to automatic. I don't think there's a player out there. I think I loaded them in and the truck wound them up. But let's just be sure. If Scum, Daisy, and Rust had a child. I don't know Rust at all, but I kind of always felt like Scum was the child of Daisy. I'm sure he has more experience with Daisy than I do, so he probably has some specific idea in mind of the features he wants from each game. This is the only one of those three that I've played. Uh, I played a lot of Daisy mod in Arma 2 years and years ago, but that's a whole different beast. It, it's not like the, uh, the full release game at all, as far as I know. Take this. Good night to you, sir. Good night.
13% still. Good tough guy, huh? There it is. Roasted. Once you see the yellow flames come out, you know you've done your job. Okay. What is next? That's the real question. I think we got enough of these 1911 mags. I'll just boop, do that. You know what I think? I think I might have had enough waiting around for the sun to come up. Oh, but it is getting close, isn't it? What's the time on my watch? Been streaming for an hour. It's been about four... Yeah, about four in game. So... Let's, let's try and, yeah, let's get the plane in about an hour and a half. I think we'll have daylight by then. Or we could just go do it. I'm too impatient. I can't wait. Let's just go do it. Let's go get us a plane. Shoot, I didn't bring backup kit this time. I forgot I, last, I lost the old backup kit. Very close to base right now. I kind of think I have to drive past the base. Well, I don't have to, do I? But I could grab a spare pair of pants and uh, throw a cheap revolver or some or a cheap pistol into my pocket. Grab a a bow and some, craft up some wooden arrows. I don't know. I never really know what to do in this situation. I think we're gonna just go for it. Not worry about planning too much. Let's just go see if the plane is even there to begin with. I'll bring in my pistol. I'll bring in like a magazine or two. And if the zombies come swarming, then they come swarming. But really, the only thing we're focused on is getting a plane up in the air. That's what we need to do. I'm trying to think about Z2 and where the bunker is. Where is that? That's got to be this one here, I think. Between keypad 8 and 9. Yeah. That seems about right. I don't think I've ever been inside of that one. I went to see if it was open with, with corpse one time, but at that point it was not. I'm curious if this detail is coming through on the stream, but I'm starting to see distortion in the night vision optics. And that's the result of the battery going low. You can see in the top right corner there, it's about 50% used up. We're gonna hang this left here, skirt around the hospital, start heading towards the airport. This amount of distortion isn't too bad. It starts to get real staticky once it gets quite a bit lower. And then we'll, we'll switch it out before it even dies, because that static, we don't have to live with that. There's no reason to. I bring a whole bunch of spare batteries just for this purpose. Okay. I'm not sure about right here, but I can be. Let's go right. Stay around the north end of the hospital. Seems to be a slightly more direct path. I don't know who built this bridge, but they really should have brought the guardrails all the way back to the terrain. They're just asking for somebody to go flying off after the corner there, aren't they? Now we're going to go straight across. And we're going to follow this until we kind of bear left and then right. So we're going to bear left, bear right, and then we're going to hang a left onto a main road, a yellow road. Normally the yellow roads are asphalt with a, a white dashed line in the middle. 
Sometimes they're kind of like this. Depends on the section of the map. Okay, we're bearing left. bear right. Ooh, that's a long drop down there, isn't it? We'll have to come back here, jump off this bridge sometime, see if it kills us or not. Sometime when we have more fame points to risk. As it is, if this plane extraction goes south, if it fails, I'm going to be very fame point poor. And I might have to give up on stealing planes for a little while just so I can build that back up. Because I want to be able to buy guns, ammo, magazines, and ideally car parts too. But we're already iffy on the car parts right now, I think. I think you need 240 to get heavy armor. Okay, yeah, we're on the right path. We're gonna... Oh! Goodness gracious. Should watch where I'm going, shouldn't I? Still have my headlights, though. hey oh. Alright, let's hope nobody else is coming this way, because we've got some work we need to do. This poor truck just took a real beating. We pull out the number six box here. Okay, the wheels look alright. Chassis is really what got it the worst, and probably the bumper. As far as the hood and the armor goes, we're going to have to pull those components off to see what their actual status is. 82%, that's probably worth repairing. Go ahead and repair that. 97%, I'm not going to bother fixing that. That's fine. Nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to remove 100%. I wonder if... Why is it red if it's 100%, right? See? 99%. Remove the hood. 100%, it's showing red. So you can waste a lot of repair kits like this, and I have in the past. I would have repaired all of these things. This one's 93. That's probably from me shooting through it. And I'm not going to be doing that anymore. So we're just going to leave it. 100%. And it would have us repair that. Not happening. I don't have enough repair kits to spare. Alright, box number six back in the truck. Truck's back up at 100%. Couple little bits and pieces could use some work, but they're not, not desperate yet. Let's keep moving. Hang a left. Okay, yeah, we're gonna stay up the northeast side of town on that outer road. And that'll bring us right directly towards the airport. Hello, town. Please load in for me. Thank you. Do we see any open doors? I don't think so. Well, that's too bad. We got lots of fuel right now. We're just going to go straight across here. I think the power lines may lead more or less to where we're going. Maybe? Maybe not. Nah, we can use the road. It'll be, it'll be smoother. Yeah, they do, they do actually go in that direction, don't they? Maybe we'll steer in here. Because I like to pow uh, park under that one tower. Up top the hill. Gets me pretty darn close. Hopefully the plane is over here this time. I don't really feel like driving all the way up to D4 again. That said, I probably will if I have to.
Okay. Yeah, this isn't the slickest parking spot, right? If somebody else comes around the area, they're gonna spot the truck quick, fast, and in a hurry. So we're gonna we're gonna make short work of this. If I can get the airplane out, I'm gonna land it in the closest field, and then I'll come back here, really hide the truck nicely, and we'll uh, we'll make moves with the airplane after that. Which means I should probably bring the lock with me this time. I haven't been doing that, but I think I think that's just because I wasn't really considering what the plan was once I got off the ground. Yeah, see the distortion in the night vision now? It's getting pretty bad. Is there no battery in here? I was just dead. I must have left it on. You know what? I'll take the battery out of there. It's got 0.6 amp hours. I want to see if it does the same thing in the scope that it does in the headset. Oh yeah, distortion for days. And it doesn't look like there's an airplane down there, does it? That's going to be a big fat no sir. Got to go to the other end, take a look at that side of things. If the west end doesn't have a plane in it either, we're going on a little bit of a journey. Oh, hold on. Let's pull that battery. Let's pop that one in. And these two are basically... Well, one of them is dead. The other one's basically dead. Nears makes no difference. Uh, maybe it would be smart to put this key card here just in case I do something foolish. Bing, bang, boom. Night vision is cleared up again. You're still looking for electrician's kits? They are so darn rare. I just bought one today because I'm planning on, well, planning on using it for a little bit of crafting. Um, the only time I find them is in the supply drops, and then it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where else. I have found them in other places, but it's really quite rare. Garages, I guess. They do seem to have restructured the loot system with this update, so maybe they'll become a bit more findable now? I don't know. Still trying to get an airplane. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go back up to D4. very hard to see in there, isn't it? Let's... I've been here before. Done this. I just don't remember what I did last time. Was in a garage after they patched. Yeah. Yep, that sounds about right. Feeling vulnerable. I do need to be sure that the airplane is not at this airfield before I drive all the way up to D4. And there's a bunch of trees in the way. Kind of hard to see with you guys right in my face. There's some scaffolding inside this hangar that looks just a little bit like airplane wings and it makes it hard for me to tell. I think we're going to grab the scope again just to make certain. I wish there was a way to craft your own electrician's tools the way you can with toolboxes. Like a pair of wire cutters, jumper cables, duct tape. What else? What else would you need? Maybe some scrap metal would make sense. And glue or something like that. There's no use for glue anyway. Might as well give it a use, right? Wrong button. There we go. Night vision is so bright on this thing. 
Yeah, see, it's it's scaffolding or some kind of um, shelf or something, but it just kind of looks like an airplane wing, like an airfoil. Huh. No dice. I just hope I'm not being foolish here. We're going to set this aside. I think I might need it. Yeah, if I'm going to go all the way up to D4... This goes here. Hmm. Tough nuggets, right? Where's that guy? He's right there. I'm pretty sure I don't see the airplane here. Son of a gun. Two in a row spawning way up north. Alright, well, how do we do that from here? We're going west. I suppose we could follow the power lines west. That's usually a decent a decent path to take, right? It can be a little bit rocky, but it should be alright. Best not let the hunger get the best of me here. Let's see, let's slam an energy drink and an MRE. Is that all of it? Goodbye to you, sir. It's not littering if it disappears after six hours, right? I think you call that uh, decomposition. How are we doing on body fat? Still dropping. And Dex is almost at 4.0. I wonder if we'll hit 4.0 around 20%. Hopefully we hit 4 before 16%, because I don't want to go much lower than that. Then again, just for the science, maybe I should see how low I can let body fat get before it starts to have a negative impact on my character. just don't want to start losing strength. Of course, strength is one of those stats that builds a lot faster in the early game. Once you start driving everywhere, strength, running, endurance, constitution overall, those things don't build up as quickly anymore. Which is a little bit sad. Alright, this will take us straight to that gas station at the fork in the road. Top off right there, and then we'll press on. We'll have enough fuel to get right to where we're going from that point. Hopefully the airplane's in D4 and I didn't just mistakenly miss it here, but even if I did, it's not that big of a deal. We'll hit D4, we'll look for it. If we don't find it, we'll come back and maybe it'll be daytime. It'll be a little easier to do what we're trying to do in the daylight. The temptation to fly corpses plane is so high. At this point, I just want to fly, but... I, I know it's not going to have the same satisfaction as if I do it for myself. So I'm, I'm not letting me take his airplane up into the air, even though he wouldn't mind if I did. And I'm pretty confident I can do it successfully. Nope. Nope, I won't let it happen. Oh, cornflakes. Our vitamin D is surprisingly good right now. Wonder why. Do you get vitamin D from MREs? Nice water bottle. What do we have here? Dub dub. Nice red flare. Okay. 
Okay. So now we're going to stay west until the next yellow road. And then we're going to head north through that. Very good. Another thing on the docket for today is probably hitting the backup kit that's in the northeast. Uh, we'll see when Thor gets online what he's feeling like. Ooh, speaking of Thor... I'll bet you that's him right there. That's him and Ghost. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them do what they're doing. They're in the test server. And I'm rocking and rolling here, so I won't interrupt them right now. Uh, yeah, we'll see if Thor wants to do that. I definitely want to do that. What's our... yeah. If he wants to go with me, he's more than invited. But, uh, one step at a time. Airplane first. Fingers crossed. to stop to empty our bladder pretty soon, aren't we? Keep an eye on the road right now. We're kind of in Nowhereville. It might be safe to do that here. Let's try to make quick work of this job. Bladder needs emptied. When nature calls, one must answer. You know, I keybound my switch view, um, first to third person, I keybound it to my mouse. So I have a mouse button that does that for me, and I'm so trained to do it on the keyboard, even though the mouse is easier, I find myself defaulting to moving my hand off the mouse onto the keyboard. I'm going to have to actually put like genuine effort into retraining myself to use the mouse for that job. Now is not the time though. Last time I drove in first person in an armored car, I put it right in the river. Let's not let that happen today. Not with this truck. Too much sentimental value here. Gosh, this thing's got so many hours, so many kilometers on it. Okay, this was the turn, correct? Yes. Oh yeah, we were here earlier, leaving our mark. And it looks like our good work has paid off, because there's no random junk laying around right now. Maybe we forced some of those vehicle spawns back over to the west, finally. How far are we going to take this? We're going to take this all the way through the next major city, across the river. We're going to take it until it turns into a white road. We could even take that white road all the way up around the D4 airfield. That might be the move. It's just that one hangar I want to get to. I'm pretty sure that's where the airplane spawns up there. Uh, I've got my interactive map, so if I'm wrong about that, and it's not there, and it wasn't in the other two places I checked, I'll hit the interactive map and see if there's a, a plane spawn that I'm missing, unfamiliar with. Was that a turn? No, we're doing the right stuff here. We're doing just fine. I try to straddle the white line when I'm coming into towns like that. Normally, there's not stuff right in the middle of the road. The big city violates that principle, but the the outer towns like this, the smaller country towns, they seem pretty consistently to have open roads passing through them. And that way, if something's there that hasn't streamed in yet, you don't hit it by accident, like a fence on the side of the road. Not that that's happened to me before, but it has. Oh, oh, a little over-rotation there. A little panic breaking. What's up, gas station? Hello. Goodbye. 
I seem to remember taking this left here. Yep. Keep her moving, bud. That's all we need right now. Just keep her moving. Oh, look out, there's a guardrail there. Oh my goodness. What do you have against guardrails? You're always trying to take them out. Alright, time to get serious. There's water nearby. down, we're going through a town. Oh, that's a real river right there. That's a, that's a truck breaker if you land in it. We're going to stay on this road until it, until it switches back to the right pretty heavily. And even then, I think I'm going to take the white road, which is probably going to be a slightly longer journey, but hopefully a little bit more interesting. The road less traveled and all that. Hey! Let's see if this one has an engine. If it does, maybe we put Nabel's name on it. Maybe we don't. We just send him a picture of where it is in Discord. No engine. Not worried. That can stay there for now. Alright, yeah, we got a couple little back and forths. Maybe a village or a, a farm on the right up ahead. And then we'll come to that next intersection we're looking for. I think this is the white road. Yep. There's a little spring right there. Stop and fill up your water if you need to. It's always good to know. kind of nice out here. This is one of those moments where I wish it was daylight just so we could get a better view of things. This is cool looking. Uh, map. Map is what I'm looking for. Yeah, a little town down here. Oh, we're going to go through this town too, aren't we? I am not traversing those rocks though. We'll follow the road. Yep, glad I came out this way. This would be an interesting place to have a base, right? very interesting place. It's, it's the kind of place where you could bury a couple of chests and probably not be bothered too much out here. You've got high value loot right up here at the D4 airport. Pretty easy to get to. Cities close by. Um, it seems like cars respawn up here pretty frequently. Of course, I'm driving, so that always biases it in the positive direction. Things appear more frequent when you can travel faster. Kind of neat, a little bit run down. Definitely looks like looks like one of the um, less habitated cities on the map, or I guess it's really just a village, right? All right, we're gonna keep following this. I wonder if that's a lighthouse way out there by the water, northwest of us. Maybe we'll go see. 
somewhere around 3 o'clock in game right now, so we're getting closer and closer to sun up every moment. I'm trying to figure out without without doing the math exactly, just kind of feel it out what the time ratio is. It feels like it's about 4 to 1. Like 4 game hours pass for every 1 real hour. I think that's pretty close to accurate. Yeah, let's take that next left right here, I guess. And see what we have out this way. Oh, this left. Walls? Are those walls that go into water? Interesting. Okay, yeah, it's not a lighthouse, is it? It looks like a structure that might someday be turned into a lighthouse. It's got that sort of taller-than-it-is-wide appearance. Wow. Like a clock tower, right? Or something? I don't know, what is that symbol right there? I can't make sense of it. feels real sketchy. These roads are definitely a bit treacherous. There's another little town down here, huh? Tell me there's a rager. What? This one's got to have an engine, right? Does it have stuff in the inventory, though? I'm not sure what the default weight of Ragers is. It's unlocked. Nothing in the inventory. That's kind of cool. It's not what we're here for, though, so we're just going to leave this one be. I wonder how often anybody comes out here. This is quite a journey. Talk about a place for a backup kit, man. You bury it behind one of these structures way down here. Who's coming out here with a metal detector? Wait, didn't... Didn't we just urinate? We need to again already? Maybe slamming that energy drink was a bad idea. What's our, uh... Yeah, water's at 106. Bladder's almost full again. Sure does happen fast. Go ahead and squat. Let's take care of it before we go in looking for any action. All right, we got to get us we got to get a plane this time. It's going to work. It just has to work. I'm almost confident enough to go in with all my gear on. That's how almost sure I am that this is going to work. The biggest headache is going to be coming back to get my truck. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I take a dirt bike and just sacrifice it to the ether? Yeah, thinking of that now, I almost wish I, I hadn't offered that dirt bike to Echo. I mean, I'm glad I did. If he wants it, he should have it. We have plenty, and I can spare one. Um, yeah, we're going to go left here and then kind of just stay left around the outer perimeter. But it would be kind of cool to take a random dirt bike that I just find somewhere and use it to recover my truck later. No big deal. We have to... We'll, we'll figure something out. Maybe we can get someone online later to give me a ride. Get Corpse online to fly me in. 
We could parachute, para drop in, grab my truck with a parachute. That would be cool. Um, that's close. Where are we? Just back up a little bit. Go through the woods here. Curious, big radar looking dish, satellite dish maybe. I wonder what kind of loot is up there. Is there a bunker? It sort of appears like a bunker, but it's it's definitely different than the other bunkers. But I just get that feeling from it. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there's a rock there. Oh my goodness. Rough. That's okay. I've got about 10 rager wheels with me right now. Not even that big of a deal. Uh, let's see, 93%. It's not even that badly damaged, guys. How is it in such good shape? Okay. All right. I guess the jack needs to be on this side. Um, let's pull the hood. What do you look like? Hundred percent still. So. And this wheel, I literally just installed it. Why is it? Okay. Whatever. service vehicle. Let's take a look at this wheel. 90%. Let's hit that with a repair kit. Might as well just to be safe, considering we blew one up right now in front of us. Yeah, we're going to have to replace that wheel now, aren't we? Easy, easy peasy. We've got them right here. Now we can keep rocking and rolling. It pays to be prepared. That would have been a real buzzkill. We would have had to run all the way back on that road, down that path, and taken the wheel off that rager truck that was out in the middle of nowhere by the coast. Okay, I think this is very nearly our entry point. Yeah, that's it. Good to see we're making friends up here, right? Wow. This terrain is really bumpy. Uh-huh. Okay, it looks like that's going to reach out, but then it doesn't. I like how they get on top. I think that's going to help it all. can't shoot out that side. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's that problem handled. How much damage? Yeah, that did another percent of damage to the truck just shooting out of it. That is something to consider with the armor. You can't shoot out once you go full armor, which is just super disappointing, let's be honest. Um, hmm. I didn't come prepared with a backup kit which is just tomfoolery. And it's definitely not the sort of thing you want to do naked. 
because you freeze to death up in the atmosphere. Now, I don't know this the surrounding lands here at all, so I have no recovery plan for anything. The lower airfield I know a lot more about. Let's, you know what we should do? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're going to grab the binoculars. We're going to grab the scar. We're going to just go in on foot and see if we can spot the plane at all. Before I start getting prepared to steal it, let's make sure it's here. That's definitely the airplane. Glad I brought my binoculars. Okay, we're gonna go back and get prepared. Obviously I can't get rid of everything I'm wearing because I'm not gonna do this naked, but I can I can shed a lot of layers. I can get rid of the valuable stuff. I mean, maybe I make a 35 pound improvised bow and some wooden arrows. That might be a decent idea. That way I could have a little bit of defense and I wouldn't even have to bring in my pistol. Um, I've got backup pistols, but I don't feel like losing another one. It's just it's just annoying. And I know this is a risky thing I'm going to do. Alright, let's see here. What do I have as far as clothes? I might actually have an orange jumpsuit from a previous respawn. That's a hazmat suit. We're not going to waste that. Got a spare bow right here. I suppose I could take a spare bow in and we'll just we'll hide this one because it's got all the good stuff. We'll, we'll maintain the security of this one. Lockpick doesn't belong there. Lockpick belongs here. Show me orange jumpsuit. Don't I have one here? Okay, that's something. And a hat. That's also good. Military shirt. I might be able to throw this thing together just haphazardly. There's a jacket. Um, I've got some spare backpacks, I think, right? Where's that orange jump? I swear I had one. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But I, I don't know. I could use the camo shirt. Let's not. What if we lose it, right? Um... It's all coming together. It's starting to make sense. That's an HS SF-19 mag. M9, M9. You could take the Desert Eagle with a 357 magazine. Do I have any ammo for it? Might as well take those just for the warmth. I don't know. It's definitely not going to have a suppressor. I don't think this type of gun even allows a suppressor. But there's two 357 mags. Let's start looking for 357 ammo. Oh, 38 ammo. Yeah, I used to carry 357 down here. Now I don't. Um, tough nuggets, right? Normally I try to plan ahead for these sort of things so I'm not just lumbling my way through my kit like this. Right now we're kind of kind of flying in a little underprepared. There's no no denying that. Okay, yeah, that's the one I just looked at. Going through the same backpacks multiple times here. My mind's racing. 9mm ammo. All right. I think we're just going to do the bow with the arrows. We'll do some wooden arrows. Maybe I leave the night vision this time so it's not so bad. Okay. Scroll right down to the bottom here. This is the stuff I'm going to put on right now. And... Oh, I can't... 
doesn't even fit in there anyway. I don't think I'm bringing the 357. I don't have ammo for it. It would be pointless, right? Okay. All this goes bye-bye. Compound bow. We're going to stash right here. Ooh, not as much room as I'm accustomed to. Can I fit my backpack? Yes. Start stashing good things in the backpack. Anything worth keeping can go in here. Tactical handgun. Sporin bag is not going to fit, unfortunately. Denim shorts. What do you have in you? An MRE and an energy drink. Boom. Um, boy, boots are expensive, aren't they? I don't have any running shoes on me. Maybe I just do this without shoes on. I know that's kind of silly, but I don't feel like wasting my shoes right now. And my knife holster. Will fit right there. Oh yeah, the the whole armor vest. Just like that. Um might as well bring a knife, right? Make that like number three. And we'll put that in the number two slot. Now the question is, can I fit arrows in the jacket? It kind of looks like I probably can. My nice stocking feet right now. Anybody see what mistake I'm making? I'm bringing the night vision, aren't I? Am I going to remember to drop those off before I leave? I only have one more spare night vision back at base, and I know how risky this is. Do I really want to take the chance right now? I don't know. Let's auto-craft some arrows. Hopefully I can get a little over a stack here. I don't think I'll need that many. But I did hear at least one beeper in that structure. And if the beeper blows up, I'm going to have a horde to deal with. As a matter of fact, if I have to blow up the beeper, I'll probably turn and leave and fight the horde out here in the woods where I can have a little more freedom. I don't have to worry about navigating the mechs at the same time. Okay. Yes, good news. That stuff fits. We got a little more than a stack. What's our poundage on this? 60? That means I draw it pretty quick. Is there any real advantage to upping the poundage on this? Is it significant? Night vision. Okay. Here we go. Barefoot and ready as we're going to be. Still probably going to freeze to death. It's not that many layers that I'm wearing. I suppose one thing I could do is get the plane up in the air, circle once or twice, and then try and land it on one of these landing strips right here, away from a mech. And if I could manage that, I could run back to the truck, get my proper gear together so I won't freeze to death. That all makes pretty good sense to me. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't really know. Land near the wall. Is there a good landing spot near the wall? Far enough away from the mech so I won't get myself into trouble, hopefully. Okay, there's our plane. Ok, 
Okay. We need to... We need to time this better, this, this go-around. I've got to really think about this. It's going to take me, what, 10 or 15 seconds to get the plane moving? The mech on the, uh, what side is this, west side? I'm not as familiar with his pattern. The eastern side guy, I've got a pretty good grip on how he moves about. This guy over here, there's two mechs I can see through this door, I'm pretty sure. Getting just little glimpses right now. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, that startled the heck out of me. I think the mech stepped on the beeper. I owe him one. Okay, maybe that is the same mech. Very confused by the western side of things here. Okay, he's starting to come towards us. Where's the east side guy? I see him flashing his light now. Here, he's coming by the wall. I don't know if I'm going to be in that guy's line of sight. That does worry me. Okay, so there's a mech up there. Oh man, why am I even looting? I'm not taking anything out with me, am I? Slow and steady right now, friends. I'm just nervous as heck. Okay, there's a west side guy. Is that the guy I'm hearing? No. Definitely not. Is he going to walk past the hangar door here? What is his movement pattern? I feel like I'm just not understanding what he does. Let's let's study him for a second. I have no flying skill on this character, so I have to prepare myself to make wide maneuvers. I don't think I can plan to do anything too fancy with the plane. If I'm going to make it out, it needs to be a decent straight shot with wide sweeping changes in, in uh, heading. Okay, is this guy just a back and forth, up and down the strip kind of guy? Or does he do some third angle? It's hard to see him from inside the hangar. Oh, how close are you going to get here? Right about there. Okay. This all feels really unlikely right now. I think it's going to go topsy-turvy. What did that guy just do? He didn't do what I expected. What is happening? He did do what I expected. I'm just not used to seeing it from here, I guess. Slow and steady. Planning is everything. We'll get this.
boy. Yeah, my heart's a-racing. This is where the rubber hits the road, so to speak. This is exactly what I did last time. Oh my gosh. We're in the air. We're in the air. I've got no, nothing left on this plane. It's about to fall apart. But we're in the air, doggone it. We're flying. We're flying and it's really, really loud. There, is that better? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. We've done it. Now what? Am I going to freeze to death up here? Yeah, with the health of it as low as it is, right? Gonna have to be very careful. How about that for a landing? Oh, you can air brake. That's a solid hint. Thank you for that. And the, there's great news. I've got airplane repair kits in my truck. Holy crow. This feels incredible. Let's go get the truck and some locks and warm gear. I'm still, still just wearing my stockings. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we did it. That was such clean progress. Every try we got a little bit closer. Every single try just a little farther along. And I think we got real lucky that the mech didn't take out the plane there. We've got maybe two rounds left before the thing just blows up. Ho ho ho. The adrenaline is out of control. I'm just trying to breathe and act normal. How am I doing? What a good feeling. I love accomplishing a goal. Uh, where did I put my truck? Right over here somewhere, right? Yep, I can see it. Oh good, we can get our night vision back. Yeah, we're definitely going to lock it up. That's step number one. Repairs and locks. Oh, 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 oh. That worked out. Glad we're able to draw the bow quickly. Okay. Switch it up here. Let's get the armor back on. This goes there. Boom. Nice to have boots on again, right? What's in these? Just a knife. Okay. Night vision. That's a good feeling. Wear the backpack. Boom. We'll keep the helmet in here for right now. Simply because the hat's probably warmer than the helmet. Actually, it definitely is. I could see that indicated right there. Um, I'm still wearing the jacket. We're going to dump this stuff. Where's my shirt and my shorts? Equip that and this. We should be good and warm now. 
this goes in the denim shorts right there. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm still just trembling with excitement. Okay, and let's repair this pilot jacket. Let's repair the hat. We're going to start using these things now, right? And then we'll take the truck right over there, throw a gold lock on the plane, repair it. We did it. Thank you for the help. That landing was nice, man. The air brake... I didn't realize there was air brakes. I'll start hitting spacebar while I'm still in the air. I've always been waiting until I land to press that. Always being like the five... Maybe maybe I spent about 45 minutes flying planes in a test server. Just goofing around with the boys. Ho oh, ho, what a feeling. I don't even care that my truck's trying to roll over. It's okay. I'm a pilot now. I should probably pay attention where I'm going, though. We don't want to turn a success into a tragedy, right? This is going to be the end of the runway right about here. Q&E helps straighten up when flying. C to reverse. Drive. Okay, so I can hold C on the runway here to back up and get a better run up, right? Okay, where's my airplane repair kits? I think they're buried in backpacks, so we get to do the old musical backpack trick here again. Hope you all aren't growing tired of that. I know it's my favorite thing to do. Repair. Drop this in here for now. Like, I'm so excited. I, I can't... I can't even think straight. I'm violating all my organization. Just keep breathing. Check every part of the plane and repair individually. Can I put it up on a jack stand, like with a truck? Oh no. Where are the airplane repair kits? Don't tell me I distributed them into the base already. I've got a bad feeling about this. One, two, three, four. Oh no. All right. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is I do have a lock. Bad news is... I don't know where the repair kits are. But not the tires. Okay. Um, let's lock this. Equip. Where? I can't give up this easily. I swear we had airplane repair kits here somewhere. Hold F on the wings, the chassis... I probably have to be holding the kit, huh? Alright. Box number three. We already checked number four. I'm going to go a little bit slower through box number five here. Parachute. Nope. Nope. When you have the repair kit. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Parachute. Come on. One of you guys... One of you guys has a repair kit. I know it. I won't give up. I guess I could probably go back into the hangar. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's good news. I think that's the last full backpack, too. These are all... Oh, no. This one's got some stuff in it. It's not a repair kit, though. Okay. Start loading this guy back up. One repair kit's a lot better than no repair kits, right? Hmm. 
Yep, it is. I, I threw a gold lock on there. Hold F. I'm not seeing the option to check the condition. Let's just do that. That used up two uses right there. Does the engine need it separately? No, that's part of the chassis. Yeah, we'll just repair it all. all right, the flaps... Are the flaps different than the center? Okay, we're learning, we're learning plane parts right now. This is looking good. The rudder looking good. It didn't even need that much. Used like four uses of the kit. The wheels aren't asking for anything. The prop doesn't even have its own hitbox. It does if you get in front of it, I think, but not from over here. Nice. Look at that. Professionals. Um, just because I'm an overachiever, let's grab a tank of fuel. And then we got to find a good place to hide the truck. Because it could be here for many long hours. Um, yeah. I guess if I go west into the woods, there's not a lot of incentive for people to go that way. So that's what we'll do. We'll follow the wall into the woods and then dump the truck somewhere in the middle of the woods, try and find a nice thick bush or two to stuff it in. I think that's a good move. It'll be a bit of a jog back to the plane, but it's it's probably worth it. And uh, I should probably load up on MREs and water, although now that I have a plane, it's not going to take me long to go places anymore. You know what would be funny if I ditched the truck right in the right in the area where the mech shoots. So then if somebody tried to break into my truck, they'd only have moments at a time to lockpick it. Of course, it would make it very risky to recover the truck as for me, too. But that's one way. You could use the mechs as protection. I do worry that stuff left in a uh, point of interest like that, like if you stash your car right in the middle of the uh, a mech zone, it would despawn quicker. That seems like a reasonable game mechanic. I don't know if it is or not. Not a lot of bushes up here. Oh, he's building right in the area, huh? Now that is a server setting, right? Not all servers allow that. Red room. I've seen some of his streams pop up in my feed. I'm going to check that out. Because I kind of want to see what that looks like. There's a lot of risk, but a lot of safety that comes from it too. If you're, if you are particularly good at dealing with the mechs, and other people aren't, that's one hell of a lock picking protection, right? Having a mech patrol. Okay, that's decent. The headlights are facing the wall, so. Hopefully they won't be seen too easily. Red Rum the Gamer. Yes, sir. Popped open a fresh tab for that. I'll check that out as soon as I'm done here. Uh, let's see. Which way am I likely going to come at this? I'm probably going to come at this from the southeast. Right, northwest. So let's put the bonfire right here. Okay. Now we go back to our plane. Oh. What about food and water? We got plenty of ammo. Need to re-hotkey my pistol. 
got one MRE, two MREs. We're pretty good. I think I'm going to grab a replacement sewing repair kit just in case. Got a couple extras anyway. All right. East it is. We have lane number two now. And I got this one all by myself, which is a darn good feeling. Pull some of this clothing off because I'm sweating up a storm already. I'll put it back on before we get up in the air. Oh, wow. I'm really hot. Let's pull off a couple more layers. What to do now? Just start doing runs around the server. I think I'm going to go to the airstrip in the, the southeast corner of the map. Down in, the, what is that, Z0? Z0? And we'll practice landing there. We'll fuel up. We'll just get get our, our training wheels off. So that'll be the first place we go. And then once I get comfortable with that, maybe I'll take it to the base and try landing it there. I'll just do a little bit of practice with the with the airplane right now so we can get used to it. We might even be able to land it up here if we get good enough eventually. But that that landing strip down there... I mean, the mech is so far away, it's really not that dangerous landing right there, which is nice. Makes it easy. Make it easy to get plane number three when Corpse and I can fly up here together. Yeah. I wish he was watching right now. He'd be so happy to see this. Man's been waiting for somebody else to get a plane. Now I can rock and roll with him. We could practice maneuvers, fly in formation be like the Blue Angels, but scummier. Alright, let's slow down a little bit. You're running out of strength. I know, we, we don't do this enough anymore. Constitution's probably been dropping more than it's been climbing. The amount of time we spend sitting in a truck. Catch your breath. Uh, what's our bladder look like? Colon? Maybe. Just to help us get there. Let's take a couple quick sips of energy drink. Help that stamina recovery. And every time I have caffeine, I like to have a little nicotine with it. That's just how life works, don't you know? Onward. And I think the sun's even coming up. Could things be more perfect right now? We'll keep rocking the night vision for a couple minutes, but I'm starting to see pinks crawl into the sky as the sun crests over the horizon, casting its rays upon this desolate land and the scummy inhabitants who befoul everything before them. How are we doing temperature-wise? 36.6 again. Perfect. like to see that. Oh, I see. Okay. Apparently you can only wear one pair of underwear at a time. That seems reasonable. Okay, we haven't left anything on the ground. We're bundled up pretty good. Immediately feeling hot. That's okay. That won't last long. Holding down C to reverse. Get as much runway as we can here. I don't think I need this much, quite honestly. I'm probably okay. Yeah. Picks up speed really quite quickly. And we are airborne. 
what a feeling this is, huh? Wow. The world is truly our oyster. Now I just have to get good at spotting things from the sky. The corpse used to be able to fly around and go, oh, there's no engine in that truck, <laughs> and just keep going. How, how can you tell that? You're such a savage. I bet he still can. I say used to because he's not really playing that much anymore, but I'm sure he still could do that. Oh, you know what? You know what I want to do? Not turn on my music. That was an accident. This island down here, it might be not right now because I want to practice landing a little bit more. You're going to tell me there's a cargo drop right now? Are you serious? This one is yours, Mabel. I'm not even going for that. I've got more important things to do. We're drifting around in circles here. But yeah, once I'm feeling more confident with being able to land, this is definitely on my to-do list. I've not been over to that island yet, and I want to check it out. Really quite badly want to check it out. I suppose we could go over there with the boat eventually too. I want to get my 100 meter or 100 kilometer achievement and I think if I go all the way down there and back I'll get it because I already have 50. banding. We don't like that. I should have thrown a parachute in here. Whoa. Yeah, I should have thrown an air, a, a parachute in here, and then when I get in the plane, I should just wear the parachute and leave my backpack in the plane's inventory. Uh, on the off chance that there's some sort of weird server reset or something like that. Hopefully I would have the time to deploy my parachute when I log back in, but it's probably not how it works anyway. No one's scum and all that. Look at the windmills from up here, the rock quarry, all this cool stuff. It's a whole different map from the sky, isn't it? Look at that sun come up too. Just absolutely gorgeous. What an amazing game. There's different throttle settings. Feels like there's three different throttle settings. And this is going to maintain about 150 kilometers an hour. It really does feel nose heavy though. Constantly wants to pitch down. You can't take your hand off the off the controls. You have to recorrect consistently here. Alright, let's try and fly kind of level here. Do I have a gauge that indicates horizon? I do. It's a little hard to see right now. Of 
right? Okay, so that's more or less level. Which means 190 kilometers an hour is about cruising speed, full throttle. We're climbing a little bit if you look at the altimeter. So about 200, I guess. Seems, seems like cruising speed. Yeah, vertical speed is almost zero right there. I'm glad they updated the dashboard so they work. That's actually useful information, isn't it? Let's fly the windmills. See if there's anything up there. Q and E. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I bet you could use that kind of nose up a little bit when you're in a hard corner. Yeah, I'm going to have to practice flying a little bit. It's, it's definitely a skill. Handy for landing adjustment. Yeah, okay. I could see that. That makes sense. Do we see any cars? While we're flying the windmills here. I don't have corpses' eyes. I'm not seeing them. Oh, over here by the windmills? That's where you keep your base, Phil? We spotted one way back uh, by that farthest windmill on this island. I'm sure it wasn't yours. I don't think you play on this server, but I have seen bases over there. It was down the embankment a little bit, closer to the ocean. It was really hard to find. I think the only reason we found it was corpse flying around like this. Okay, where is the airfield? I think we're headed toward it, right? Should pop up pretty soon. Probably on top of one of these hills. Yeah, that's the torpedo factory, so it's definitely in this direction. I think I see it. Back on the beach near the shipwreck. Let's go have a look. Far East Bridge. Yep, that sounds about right. I don't know I don't know if I've ever gone there in the air before. I've definitely gone with the truck a number of times. So we're looking for a shipwreck along the beach here, right? Slow it down a little bit. Is there a house on that little island right there? Sand beaches out to the sea, okay. Just coming up. This is kind of cool, huh? Come here with a dirt bike. Okay, I see the shipwreck. Okay, so you're over here somewhere, right? One of these sandy beaches? Yep. That's a nice spot. Bet you could do a lot of good fishing from right there, can't you? Oh, tree. Careful. Just as long as the waves don't get too high. I'm so glad I had an airplane repair kit in my truck. I didn't plan that, obviously, since I took about five minutes trying to find it. That was a good bit of luck. Hopefully we'll find another one up here at the airfield. 
you really can fly for a while on a tank of fuel too, huh? The sound of that engine is killing my ears. Amazing. It's just beautiful out here. Boy, Thor is really trying to get me into the test server. Hey man, I'm I'm playing. I don't know what y'all are doing in the test server, but I'm having fun in the real server. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, yo. All right, he's AFK at the moment. He'll say something when he gets back, I bet. Okay, we gotta start looking for the airfield. It's definitely somewhere. Over here, maybe? That looks like an airstrip, right? Nose up a little bit. Scroll down over here. Okay. Yeah, that's the airfield. Start bleeding off some speed. We're going to come in from the other direction. But we'll lose a little altitude here. Slow down our airspeed a bit. We're going to land nice and early. No need to be fancy at all. Gotcha, Phil. Absolutely. I'll be around for a while. Cut the prop right on down. Cut it a little close there with that tree. I don't like that too much. Nice. That was a good landing right there. That went well. My ears are ringing though. That's sending my tinnitus into a hailstorm. I don't like it. Very nice. That was success. If ever there was success, that was it right there. Let's start pulling off some layers because I'm sweating my face off here. Holy crow. Drop that. Let's get this off. Uh, should probably just take the whole jacket right off, put it in the plane, huh? Socks. I guess we probably could fit that in here. And let's put the jacket in the plane. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can find another repair kit, right? Can't hurt. We've got one in the plane with 13 uses. It'd be nice to have a second one just in case we, you know, tap a tree or something. How about a CD player? Box of nails, some hiking boots. No, thank you. Come on, repair kit. So different. When I started this stream, I was here looking for what? <laughs> There's one. And another gold block. Gotta love it. Looking for pens, I think, when, the, when I came here last. A4 is empty. Just been there. Copy that. Appreciate the heads up. Now, if you need a ride somewhere, let me know. I'm a professional pilot now. 
I'm gonna warn you, it's a bit risky because I'm still untested, but uh, things are going well so far. All right, I think probably one air kit's all we're gonna or repair kit is all we're gonna get. Hey, what's up, Dory? There. Got yeah, here now. Gotcha, gotcha. How you doing? Yeah. Same shit around this house. Like one. Oh boy. Well, fair warning, I am streaming at the moment. Oh. Okay. And I managed to get a plane, so we have two now. Okay. Uh, when you get a chance, go over to the test server and see what he's done. Is he building another base over there? It's already done. Oh, good. Are we going to move into it on this server, or...? Well, I think we're going to have to build it first. Like, it's totally uh, different. It's got six trucks in it. It fits six trucks. Yep. It's, uh... It's actually pretty decent looking. I helped him build it. Well, he did most of it. I just helped out a little bit. Th there's a problem, though. We can't leave the squad anymore. Yeah, I know. That means we're going to have to wait till the reset and then do this, everything from the reset. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, I don't know where he's gone. He was just here. I had to go deal with some shit in the house, like normal. Uh, he said, um, what did he say? He said he'll, he'll be back later, maybe. So. Maybe. <laughs> I, think we, I think we know what that means. We got a decent idea. Yeah. There's a, a yeah, wink, wink, nudge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. So are you, which server are you on then? Uh, I'm just leaving the test server now. Okay. Unless you want to take a look at it first. But no, if you're streaming, you can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay with this for now. Yeah. I just got Where the plane, you? so I'm at the uh, the Z0 airfield right now. No. What server, though? Wait, eight or one? Oh, one. Uh, I had to... Oh, one or just one? Oh, one. The usual one, you know? Yeah, but why can't I find old one? I'm server virtual one US. Y'all are getting the, the oh, server right information there. now. There it is. I knew this was gonna happen eventually. Thor doesn't really understand what streaming yeah, he's is. Talking about, uh, <laughs> going to a server that has like twenty seven people on it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him. I don't know which one that is. Oh, I don't wanna do this yet. I wanna put my gear back on. Can I do that while I'm seated? No, 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 no. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm on server. It's daylight at least. It is, it's just morning time too. Oh, good. Howdy, friend, yeah, how are you doing? Glad you could join us again. Finally got my airplane. Now let's see if I can run it into a tree or not. I don't see it, where is it? Oh, I'm talking to chat. I'm headed towards base though, I'm gonna try and land over there. See how oh, that goes. Okay. And then you have to find me back to your car if anything. Yeah, it's way up in D4. Yeah, I can drive that. Okay. Oh, why am I missing? Where oh, is the base? I gotta go a little west of here. Use the rudder controls to swing around my center. Probably easier than doing a bank turn every time. See, we keep this river to our right. Oh, it's actually it's closer than I thought. Now I'm wishing I paid more attention when Corpse was doing this. Yeah, I know he cuts the engine basically right down before he lands. Yep. That's my glide in. Oh, we have to go dump that car too. Yes, we do have to do that. Where is there's the hospital. I think we're going to be down there. Yeah, that looks like our base. Holy crow, that thing is huge from the sky. That's what she said. That's right. Yes, yeah, so you're a little late, and I was also a little early, but that's okay. I've got tons of energy right now. Scoring this plane was a huge deal. I've been trying for a while to make this happen. All right, we're going to start slowing down here while we bank this turn. I don't think I went far enough out. 
Oh, worst case, you can just turn it on and come back. Yeah, I think it's going to work out, actually. I hear ya. Yep. Oh, we're going to have to move his plane forward a bit. There you go. That was alright. I don't think I even damaged it. How come his plane's turned around? Did somebody move it? Uh, he flew it last night, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, he hopped in for about an hour. Came, helped me look for a couple of things. You gotta get your snacks right. I know how that is. No, I'm glad you're here. No complaints at all. Glad you could join us. Do you have enough clothes? I'm gonna grab a couple of spare repair kits just in case. Yeah, you got a jacket or something there, Thor? You know it gets pretty cold up there. Yeah, I think I have to my That's probably more than enough repair kits. Chips and Oreos. Man, that sounds like a great snack right now. I love Oreos. I haven't had them in a long time either. Forty out of forty. Good, we got fuel, we got everything. All right, let's do this. Um, do I have enough runway? I should probably back up a bit, huh? We finally got two planes again, Thor. Yeah. And I know how to steal them now, so we can have more if I crash, or when I crash this one. <laughs> All right, let's hope this is enough runway. I think it's going to be enough. Yep. Something wrong? Block. Okay. We're gonna go up into D4, we're gonna land on that same landing strip that Phil pointed out. And then my truck is up in the northwest corner of D4. It's west of the airfield itself, in that patch of woods right up at the corner. I'll run over there with you. I think Thor might be a little low energy tonight. I did it. I did like boil the water, put it in. Oh, none? Yeah, I'll go redo it. Well, it's all good, right? Well, I'll make some more. Just leave me up there with your car. I gotta go fix something again. Fuck you. You got it, man. Take care of your family. Poor Thor. I don't know what he's going through right now, but it doesn't sound easy. What's the uranium for? I watched people looting it and doing nothing with it or sell it. Well, it is really good for selling. I've done a bit of that on stream. Uh, you can also use it to craft armor-piercing ammunition, which apparently gives you a good amount of fame points, and it's expensive to buy, so if you wanted to make like armor piercing rounds for M249s, the better option would be to go and get the uranium as a crafting component. So it's it's for one of those two things. Um, other than that, I don't know. I guess you could take, you could troll somebody with it, right? You could put it in their vehicle or something, and then it would irradiate them when they got in, maybe. But uh, yeah, as far as I know, it's it's just good for selling and crafting AP ammo. I think it would be cool if you could make a battery out of it, though, right? Nice little nuclear battery. Never have to charge it. 
maybe it takes uh, like 20 or 30 units, a whole bunch of uranium. Uh, as much uranium as you can get in a single run, or two. Make it 100 uranium components. And then you make a, a little smartphone-sized battery for your night vision or your weapon flashlight. That never has to be charged. It lasts, I don't know, a thousand days or something like that. That would be so cool. You know, Thor said, just leave me up there with your truck, but I can't boot him out of the plane. That's not something I can do, so maybe um, maybe we'll just fly around for a little bit until he gets back. Buzz by the city real low and slow-like. I didn't bring any lockpick and stuff with me. I found a couple of screwdrivers, but I don't have any bobby pins. Else we could go for that drop right there, couldn't we? Let's fly around the city a little bit. It doesn't look so big from the sky. It really is, though. What's this right in the middle? Like a running track? Oh, we gotta go there and do some laps, don't we? It's a running track with a football pitch in the middle. Yeah, this is a really cool spot. I gotta get, uh, gotta get one of Thor's alternate characters up here. He's got a couple of characters he uses as, like, plants, right? He'll, he'll log them out somewhere strategic, so that if there's PvP action going on, he can load in with a, a high, um, like a character that's built for sniping, basically. That's got a couple of good guns and is ready to go to work. We could easily land here, couldn't we? Too bad I don't have bobby pins. And I bet you Thor does, but sounds like he's got to make some food, so it's going to be a little while before he gets back with us. There's a rager truck down there. Looks like no engine, if I had to guess. Oh, 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 we got a little low there. It's okay, we're going to pull it off. Oh, ho It'd be cool if you could make small bombs out of the uranium. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's so obvious, right? That'd be a great thing. Like a, a 40 millimeter grenade launcher grenade. That's a tiny little mini nuke. Tactical nuclear arms, they call those. Yep, that would be very cool. Or a grenade, or even like a C4-style explosive that requires a bunch of weird components that are hard to get. Now that it's a little bit brighter out here, can I see my instrumentation better? No, it's still easier with the night vision on, which is kind of amazing. Uh, we do have... No, we've got an airspeed. Yeah, we've got an altimeter, okay. Are we almost there? Yeah, we can be. Hello? Oh. Yes, we can turn around. We're very close. I've just been flying around with you. Oh. I can. I was going to say I'll jump out, but uh, no. Yep. Not without a parachute. Of which I have a couple in my truck, but that doesn't help us right now. No. Nope. That's alright. I know a good spot to land. I already did it once here. Right on the runway. Yep. Yeah, this game definitely can continue to develop, and they've promised mod integration once they go full release. And my experience with video games is, especially these days, developers put out an amazing base game, and then the mod community comes in and just polishes it right up. They add everything to it. 
we're looking forward to helicopters, and I just don't expect that from the developers. I think that's going to be something that comes from the mods. Did he hit us? I think one got close, but it didn't hit us. Yeah, I heard a ricochet. All right, I'll run over there with you so you don't have to go searching. We'll probably have to search anyway, but I'll help. You hit that post. Oh, weird. Got some rubber banding. I saw a different picture than you did. Yep. Yeah, I had a feeling when you said you're going to hit that post. I was like, eh, I'm not even really close. Hold on, let me uh, take off some of this. I'm wearing all my hot gear right now. Okay, I think that's pretty much all the extra. There's the jacket. If you want to drop anything in the plane, you can. No, I got it. I got it in my backpack. Gotcha. I'm like, there's nothing else in there. So. Yep. Truck's over here? It's it's quite a bit away. Um, we got to oh. run west for a while. Kind of along the wall. So I was watching Ghost uh, in Discord. He was doing a little Discord stream last night. And he was playing with some interesting mechanic. Like, he was doing angled build components, making a wraparound porch almost with a half wall. Was that the base you were huh. helping him with? No, he didn't have a wraparound porch. Okay. He might have ended up enclosing it, but uh, it looked pretty cool what he was doing. Holy shite, where'd you park? Way out here. Um, you see that patch of woods that's west of the airfield? It's west of the White Road. I wasn't sure when anyone was going to come online, so I didn't want, want my truck anywhere that it would be easy to spot, you know? Yeah. I gotta take a break. Yeah, me too. 8%. Give me, I'll be right back. Okay. Look at my character doing weird acrobatic things. Got a strong chin, pulling her feet up in the air like that. You go, girl. What is this? Like a Superman. You know what it is? It's all the weight in that armor vest and the backpack making her way heavier at the top than the bottom. Her legs are just going right up in the air if she doesn't push down with her arms. Hungry, huh? Eat this. How about that? Don't worry, Thor. I'll guard you. Nobody's going to mess with you while I'm here. Okay, I'm back. You making dinner? I'm uh, making rice for the dog. It's sick. Oh, no. I don't like to hear that. All right, we're going to start going, I think, up the hill a little bit. Yeah, a little bit south of here. I've got a couple of blueprints oh, down. You put markers out? Yeah, yeah, a couple of them. I had to drive pretty far into the woods because it's sparse up here, and I wanted to find good bushes, you know? Oh, let's see. It's not too far from here. Somewhere up in these trees up ahead. I don't see any markers yet. Me either. It didn't seem this far at the time, but I was very focused on an airplane at that point. Absolutely, uh, Phil. Thanks for hanging out, my friend. I hope you sleep down. well. Where did I put my cell phone? Fuck. 
Yeah, I'm just going to keep looking for it. Walking slow here. I should have paid attention to the map itself. I didn't even think to pop it open and have a look. And it was dark, so I didn't see anything like that radar station up there. Didn't see that at the time. Oh, I see the the blueprints up here. Damn, you parked the car. I sure did. Got to be ready for anything, man. You know what I want to find out, but I'm not going to? I want to know what happens if you fly past the wall. Ah, uh, you blow up and die. Same thing you do if you take a boat past the uh, boils. Yeah. I've done that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, truck's right here. Yep. Hey, right. right, I'll bring this back as soon as I'm done doing my other shit here. Here, hop in the truck. I'm going to bring it to the plane. Oh. Uh, find a door. That way you'll be closer to the road, too, you know? And that way the doors can stay closed. Yep. Okay, I'll be back. All right. Good, good. I hope he didn't burn his rice for that. He could have walked away at any point. It's just a game. Family's got to come first. Even if your family is four-legged. Maybe especially. Excellent. We've got two planes, and I've landed that plane successfully a couple of times now. I'm starting to gain a little bit of confidence. Hopefully, it's not overconfidence and just regular confidence. I should probably repair the truck for Thor, too, so he doesn't, you know, we all beat up the vehicles when we drive them, and when it's somebody else's, you feel especially bad when it happens. So I'll definitely hit this with a couple of repair kits before I leave it for him. Which I can't do... Uh, I can't put it on the jack because he's inside. But that's alright. We can get the chassis at least. And if he loses a wheel, he's got spares abundant. Oh, can I not even repair it because he's in there? Okay. I did not realize that. I know you can't take parts off of the truck while somebody's inside of it. But I thought you could at least hit it with a quick repair. That's all right. He's got the kits in there if he needs them. Let's go find some trouble. Equip everything, because it's cold up in the sky. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's grab a parachute. I know I saw those in here. Nope, wrong box. This box, number five. It's got the parachutes. There's one. Okay, let's move you out of the way, just like a so. And do we have more airplane repair kits than we need? Yes, probably. Ooh, I'm not going to have the room for a backpack here, am I? It's so close. That's fine. Just like a so. And then we can equip this. So now if everything goes wrong, we have an escape plan. I don't know why everything would go wrong, but hey, it's kind of fun. Later, Thor. We'll see you back at base.
Let's go check on that drop. I wonder if it's still there. Where was it? I think over on the hill in the direction we're facing. I bet it's gone already, huh? I want to stay outside of the radius of a potential explosion. Because, of course, the the low pressure front that comes after an explosion can cause you to lose altitude quickly. But yeah, it's already gone, huh? Already gone. go fly by the dam. It's such a good feeling. I can understand how Corpse got completely addicted to flying an airplane. We're going to be doing a lot of this. Just cruising. It's not bad for a little prop job either. It gets up and moves. We gotta hit it with some paint, right? What kind of colors are we gonna paint it? Are we going black and red or should we do something a little bit fancier? You think pink? You look pink. Maybe pink's not a bad idea. The real question is, can I land at this strip here? This seems like a big challenge, I'm going to be honest. It's so short. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to even risk that. Oh, your car is pink? That's awesome. I'm probably going to end up doing black and red, because that's company colors. But maybe I'll do a black fuselage and red wings instead of going, uh, instead of doing the wire pattern. What do we have up here? Is this the coal mine? No. Some kind of surveillance facility or something? I can't tell what that is. Refinery, maybe? Hey, you silly airfield, I tried to get this plane from you, but you didn't have it. Maybe we'll go to the A0 trader, try and land there. I think I'll, I think I'll be able to manage that. Is this back strip kind of safe to land at? It almost looks like it. I guess there's a couple of mechs that might bother you. Is there a spot to get fuel here? Probably not. Even if there is, I think the mechs would get in the way. It is safe, okay. That's good to know. Could go there in the future when we're looking for uh, other airplanes. Because I'm sure, no matter how careful I am, eventually, some accident is going to happen. Only at that one end. Ah, okay. You shouldn't have said anything. You could have gotten a chuckle out of me, landing on the wrong end. Ooh, wires. There's the hospital.
And I think this is our base in front of me because that looks like our little lake right there. Yep, that's the base in front of me. It does help to have studied the map a little bit. Makes it just a bit more obvious where things are. And there's corpses playing all the way against the wall. Poor plane. What did he do wrong? Okay, let's try and find this trader so we get some black and red paint. I think it's going to be over here on the left. I know it's near the coast. So if we just go along this way, there's a landing strip if ever I've seen one. Looks like probably going to be best suited to come in from the water end. We have a little bit more of a flat run in. I'm feeling slightly warm. Yeah. Midday, you're wearing all those clothes, that makes sense. Start throttling down here. It's not the straightest run in ever. Let's try and oh, let's try and straighten out here. Okay, a little bit hairy, but not bad. Let's go ahead and turn it around now so I don't have to later. Very nice. Let's get some black and red. I'm going to try black fuselage, red wings. Whoop. Oh, I should probably remember to take these layers off. Oh, boy. Let's uh, equip that. Let's just go back to the plane. I'm going to die of heat stroke if I'm not careful. Yeah, 36.9. It's already going up, and we've only done a little bit of jogging. Okay. We'll take the hat off, the Valcalva. We'll take the scarf, all the hot stuff. The jacket is where we're putting everything, so... Rest easy for a moment. Socks. I think that's a heck of a lot better. And we're going to equip that. Parachute and jacket can get stored. Store the jacket. Ooh, jacket doesn't quite fit there. Hmm. I'm going to have to play around with this inventory to make it work for me. Maybe a spare backpack that I could keep a lot of stuff in would help. We've got plenty of those back at base. Jump right over the barbed wire. Not even worried about it. Also, it's a safe zone, so I don't have to worry about it. I think we're here just for the paint, right? Oh, and I should drink. Drink, drink, drink. A little bit of black, a little bit of red. I don't know what else. I think that's probably good for now. Welcome Could try two different reds, like a... Well, we'll see what kind of reds there are. We'll do fire engine red as the normal red, and then maybe something a little bit more muted to complement it. Red. We've got earth red. Yeah. Fire engine red. And then black. Bulk? Black. Okay, that was weird. It sounded like I got an achievement, but I don't know what the achievement was. Do you get an achievement for buying paint? That's a big maybe. Uh, no, I don't think I did. I think that was an advertisement from Steam, I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm not too happy about that, Steam. Advertised to me in the middle of playing a game. That's ridiculous. 
I'll buy what I want to buy. Alright. Paint solid color. Boom. Black. What about the wheels? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. What about this little thing right here? No, nope, that's going to be the whole wing. Okay. All right, all right. Fire engine red. Paint. Paint. And then earth red. For the flaps, right? Can I paint that guy? Come here. I want to paint you. Oh, uh, it won't let me paint him. That's too bad. That red is definitely not red, huh? That's brown. What a spoiler. You've spoiled my paint job. I don't like it. Guess red's gonna have to be red, unless. How does black look? It's kind of weird to just have a big rectangle of color like that, isn't it? Big chunk of solid color. It makes it look kind of patchwork. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, that's way better. And then the back end here... Maybe we just go black. I think black is the way. So it's got that splash of red at the wings, and then the rest of it is all black. It's definitely still company colors. Paint you up. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Doesn't look like you can paint the propeller, though. Okay, very cool. Just like that. Equip. Equip. Let's spend some time looking for player bases. That was the whole reason we wanted this in the first place, was so we could go around looking for player bases. Let's let's have a go at it. See what we can see. Find what we can find. Try to keep an eye. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, that's scary. Try to keep an eye on the fuel whilst we do it. Alright, if I were a player, and I am, and I wanted to build a base, and I have, where would I do it? I think Phil might have been onto something, building a base way back there at the southern coast. Because who's really going to go out there? So we'll look up and down the southern coast again, in the broad light of day, with fresh eyes. And we'll watch where we're going as we go. And then we'll check out that little island in the southwest, Z4. That island that is detached from everything else. World War II bunker. Cut the engine down a little bit here. What is this? The end of a railroad? And then it goes into a tunnel. Huh. You know what would be great is if there were trains that actually ran in this game. That would be very cool.
so if you wanted, wanted to walk through one of those tunnels, you'd be taking a risk that a train would come along and you'd have to press up against the wall to avoid being smashed by the train. Alright. I just the Volkswagen that was in there. Volkswagen? Yeah, near the airport, right where you park. Oh, I don't... Huh, I don't remember seeing a Volkswagen there. Just as long as it wasn't a black and red Rager, I'm happy. How about a, a base in a tunnel? That's a good question. I don't know. It would be... Done it. They have done it? It would be kind of tough. I guess you could just put walls up inside the tunnel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Inside with a door. There's your answer to that. Yep. I don't know. Like, it, the problem is you can't have much protection either, right? Very limited. Well, you could do layers and layers and layers of doors because you don't have to build all the walls. Yeah, I just don't remember. So I don't remember if we did it on a test server, like our own server, or if we did it on a game server. Because you might not be able to do it on a game server. That would be worth a shot. You're, you're restricted where you can build on a game server, right? Yeah, to some extent. There's certain places it won't let you build, for sure. We should go back and raid that player base back there. I, I've got a player base we can raid, Thor. We don't have to do it right now, but we can set up a raid with the clan. It's just a little one, but it's been there a while. And it's not disappearing, so... They must be semi-active. So that's one base. That, we, that we've spotted, but I already knew that, that one was there, so it doesn't really count. So there was actually a Volkswagen out there near you? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I drove right by it. I stopped, took the headlights and taillights off of it. There's no engine. Gotcha. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't right there on the airstrip. It was a little bit away. Yeah, like 20 feet. Huh. I can't believe I didn't notice it. Actually, I can believe. I really wasn't looking around for anything okay, at that point. That, yeah. yeah. Little boatyard there. you on the roads of tunnels. I don't know. I think it, it might restrict you from doing that because you want players to be able to drive on the roads. And if people start yeah, making... You can't build on roads. Yeah, yeah. So that that's probably a no, but maybe the railroad tunnels. Since it wouldn't really matter if you block those up. Not really seeing anything back here, but I think this is the... Yeah, this is the island, right? Yep, let's see if we can find a safe landing spot. I'd like to explore here. Oh, the sun changes fast. Holy crow. Not a lot for landing. As this is pretty rocky right here. I don't like that. Although maybe right there, if I land uphill. But I have to be able to take off again, too. Yeah. This might be one for the boat. Oh, there's mechs. Okay. A genuine bunker right about there. I bet that's got good loot in it, too, because nobody's ever going to be hitting that. Who would come all the way out here for for a bunker? People at that base out here? Only people with a boat, right? Mm. 
Yeah, that's a big maybe for a landing spot. Kind of want to try, though. Oh, this, this looks promising. Let's swing around and get a slightly better angle on it. That could be a bit of a landing strip. Here. Pretty rough from this angle. Nope. That was close. I might be able to pull that off, but I don't like it. This strip here looks pretty good, though. Let's try this. I wish the lighting would settle down a little bit. It's kind of messing with my head. rough. Mm. Okay, well we did it. And we still have all our bits. Let's try and climb up here, turn around. Or not. This terrain is rough. I probably should have just came here with a boat. But that's okay. If we have to chop down trees to get out of here, we'll make it happen. Oh, oh, oh that's rough terrain. Let's hit this thing with a couple of repair kits. Chassis. Oh, that gets all the flaps back here and everything? Cool. Not even that bad, is it? That's chassis. I guess the wheels are probably part of the chassis, huh? Not too shabby. And we take off all the warm weather gear, which is, we're going to include that right now. And these socks and this undershirt. Parachute, jacket, hello, gun. Where'd my gun go? There it is. Okay. Don't do that to me again. I didn't like that. Thank you very much. I appreciate you hanging out. We'll chat soon. I'm sure eventually I'll bump into you in the server again, my friend. Have a good night. Or day. Okay. This time I'm going to remember where I was. All right, this town looks like most of the other towns, right? It's definitely, ooh, golden statue. Or is that just a patina, a bit of mold growing upon it? Question is really, are there any cars or motorcycles here? Ouch. I bet there's one right here. Nope. Turn the sound back up now that we're not flying. Is 
There's a front right rager seat in this garage. Mobile phone. I think we got enough of those for now. Seeing as how we're not really using them anyway. Maybe we could find a boat spawn over here. The best kind of boat is a free boat. And there's a pool. That's kind of neat. Let me on your pool. Is this, uh... Is there water in here? Yeah, there is. It's fresh water, too. You could drink that if you want. I don't think I want to. It's been there a while. What's that? There's a pool. Who? Is it 8 o'clock yet? Oh, he's not talking to me. No. Walk down the house. Get up there. Nope. Come on, there's got to be some vehicle on this little island. Nobody ever comes here to destroy them, right? Or claim them. If we can find one with an engine, I'll start flying the parts in. And then we can have a little island cruiser. A vacation spot. We could charge people to come up here and rent the vehicle for a weekend. What's this sign say? Caution sharks, no swimming. It's nice of them to write that in English. I might have tried. We gotta breathe. Breathe. Just relax. I haven't seen a zombie over here yet. It's a nice chill island. It really is almost a resort. Oh, you landed on one of the islands? Yeah, the Z4 island in the southwest. Okay. The big one. That's why I'm hoping I can find a rager or anything, really. I wouldn't even care if it was a, a Volkswagen dirt bike. Just to have something like that out here would be kind of fun. How's the long drive going? Uh, I'm at the... where am I? I'm in uh, the bottom of B3. Near the rock quarries. Yep. Making good progress. Yeah, and I've already stopped for gas once. There's plenty of fuel in the truck, too, if you want to just use the stuff I already paid for. Ah, that's okay. I already filled it up. Oh, thank you. I'm not going to be full when I get back. That doesn't bother me at all. You're doing me a huge favor. Just keep looking. See if we can find something. Maybe there's a big parking lot over here. I wasn't paying attention when I flew over. Maybe there's a car. Doesn't really look like it though, does it? That one's upside down. It's probably no good. Too bad we can't get one of these houseboats going. Just have a boat as a house. Well, you used to be able to build one. Big, huge one, but it only powered by sails. Could live out on the water. Yep, and you take fishing rods and bait with you, and just stop in the middle of the ocean. It was only supposed to be a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. And look what happened to Gilligan. They got lost for years. <laughs> what a silly but they show. They had Ginger and Marianne with them, which really made it okay. Yeah. Bravo, solo. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce Russian or what language this is. I'm not even sure. I'm barely capable of English, so don't expect me to start pronouncing that. Uh, this looks like a helicopter landing pad right here. Can we get a helicopter, please? Yeah, I got one right here. Excellent, finally. Been waiting. Going, why are you even being smart doing this? 
This is cool. I have never been here. Yeah, I have. Yes, I have. Finally hear a zombie. Where is it? In the bush? Oh, let's check our, ge our gear. Now that I got hit, I'm thinking about it. Boots definitely need a little repair here. I hope that uses... Yeah, use the right kit. Okay. Doing, doing alright. We're a little bit on the hot side, but we're not dying. Nice bag of flour. If you want to put on some weight, flour is a good way to go. It'll pack the pounds on quickly. Richard Cheese. Enough said about that. I think it speaks for itself, really. What is this? A laundromat or something? A bank, maybe? You want to go shopping at the bank? I don't know. I can't tell what this is. It's weird. Just a regular sell anything store? I've never seen a structure like this, an interior like this before in this game. An empty box? That's a thing that you can have? I have no idea. I just found an empty box. Take it. Oh, I did. Trust you me. How big is it? I don't know. Um, like a UPS package. Oh, like, did you look inside of it? No, it's empty. That's literally its description. So what good is it? I don't know. Just never, I've never come across one before. Kind of curious. I'm going to bring it back to the base and put it down and see what happens. See if I can put things Mine's. in it. It'll blow the base up or something. Oh, wouldn't that be great? That would be hilarious, actually. Here's another one. I would actually laugh. I have two empty boxes, bro. You better be ready for me to come back. Examine a cat's favorite playground. Can I put stuff inside of it? Wait. What good is this thing? Maybe you can get a cat. That would be nice. Yeah, we can have a base cat. I would love that. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to try and find a police station. Oh, I guess I should find bobby pins first. I found a 10 out of 10, 100% fully charged smartphone battery. Boom. Right. I'll be coming back just for that. I'm a sucker for a cell phone battery. Although the new update seems to have definitely made them more consistent. Like, I'm finding them way more often than I used to. Is that a garage? I don't know, I can't see him not there. I think it is. What do you have? Oh, wait. Why is this door open? Hello? No kidding, dude. There's all kinds of open doors. What? That's crazy. The one place I really didn't expect to see anybody. Is there somebody there? I don't know. There's open doors. And it wasn't zombies that busted out, because I didn't hear any zombies making any fuss. Maybe somebody if you might they're on a boat. Yeah, true. It looks like they just opened that one garage in that one building. Maybe they started closing doors because they heard the plane land. 
Well, maybe. They're probably waiting in the bush with you, yeah. for you. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. They'll be camping at the plane to shoot me in the back of the head. Probably. That's what I would do. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. I'd head over to where the plane is, get in the bush, and sit there and point my rifle towards the plane. And when I see you get in, boom, boom, boom. Still won't we'll unlock tap. the plane for him, though. No, but it gives him more time because you're not going to respawn on that island. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's very true. You have to come all the way back to the base, get a boat, go all the way back there on the boat. Or get another plane with some RPKs mounted to it. Yeah, and then fly in and shoot them. Yes. I just don't know if you can aim those guns, though. You can't, but it would be an awesome moment, regardless. It would scare the shit out of them, that's for Oh, sure. yeah, dude. Who does it? Who has two planes? And one of them with mounted guns. I got to put some 249s on this plane, actually. Yeah, that's what I would do, is the M249s on that one. Most definitely. I think we got some spares back at base, too. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess in light of all that, I might just go back to the plane now and get the heck out of here. Or die, one or the other. Well, we're going to find out. Is someone on the C4 island? Let's just throw it out there. Of all the places, I just wouldn't expect someone to be here. And why just 10 people say, yes, uh, we are. Dude, that'd be so <laughs> funny. The whole server's just having a moment up here without us. No, they're all just waiting there for you to go back to your plane. Right. <laughs> Hey, we, we heard you had a really awesome moment. We want to ruin it for you. Yeah, that, that seems about right. How many, people, how many people are on the server? There's five right now. Plus us. Or five total. Five total. There's three others. Oh, I just crashed. Oh, no. Oh. You still there? Me? Yeah, the game just crashed on me like big time. Oh, the game crashed. Oof. Yeah. Well, no, I'm driving your truck. It's not who. Like shit. Well, yeah, but hopefully it just stopped, right? Oh, here's a car with an engine, and it's locked. See, hey, so somebody's on the island. Somebody definitely hangs out here. Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to get parts for their car out there. Wonder you could be nice and ferry some parts over for them. Could do, yep. And it's got no wheels, no battery. I think that'd be a mighty white of you. Well, I might. That would actually be kind of fun. Yeah. Oh. Maybe if I could find I some bobby pins, I could find out what kind of lock is on there. I'm just hoping I didn't destroy your truck. Me too, because it's got my whole life in it. But that's all right. If you did, we'll build another one. Be all that you can be in the army. Oh, I can't get into the game. Wow. Even better. My file integrity is all ruined. Ah. Okay, the truck's at the Z1 garage. I don't know if you want to go check on it or... Z1 garage. Was it... Oh, it wasn't near the water then. No, no, it's at the Z1 garage. I was pulling in there to check it. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how I can fix the uh, truck. Install files. Yeah, I'm working my way back Verified. to my, my plane right yeah, I'm now. I'm checking the integrity of the files. There's something wrong with that because it, hadn't, it hasn't crashed until that update today. Yeah, I've been, checking the file integrity. I've been running the experimental DX12 and it seems oh, to be okay. doing fine. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. That's just what I'm doing right now. Mm. Okay, there's Ooh. not a lot of hiding spots around here. So unless somebody's got a sniper rifle and pretty good aim.
Yeah, if I can get you to fly over, make sure nobody's taking the truck or anything, I'm I'm at twenty percent. Yep. Integrity check. Yeah, I'm gonna head that way in just a second here. Putting my gear back on, my flight gear. And then when you're done, go to the base and mount those M two forty nines and paint your plane. Paint the plane is painted. And I'll probably what color did you go? I went red wings, black fuselage. Oh, okay. I thought you would have made the whole thing yellow so when you're coming out of the sun when you can see it. <laughs> Put big red circles on the wings. Oh, that's so loud. <sighs> Alright, this is that one bridge, or uh, garage. That's the one with the gas station right there, right? Yeah. The one you're talking about? Yeah, that's where I am. I'm at the garage. I'm at the gas station. Yeah. You know the one we used to go to all the time for kit? Yep, I figured as much. Just making sure. I just hope there's not a peeper there when I spawn back in. The truck's right there. I can't believe that actually crashed. Stop and have a look at, uh, or fly over underlink space here, which probably isn't even that easy to see. Yeah, you can kind of see it though. How's our base from the sky? It's pretty obvious. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, I gotta get you to jump over the test server and take a look at that base. Yep. It's only a two story one, this one, but it has the same on elements. Huh. So it's a lot. Wider? Yeah, type thing. Yeah. Yep. Larger perimeter? Uh, I don't know if it's that much. The only thing I don't like is front and back, it's a, a single doorway. It's not the hangar doors, it's a single door. Oh, yeah, the hangar doors are really nice. Yeah, but and also, they also cause, like, they stay open quite a bit, right? You know what I mean? Like when you open them, they have to open them. Like before, oh, when they first yeah, came out yeah, with those yeah. doors, you can start closing them right away. Yeah. But now you can't. Okay, one file failed to validate and will be reacquired. Okay, so it's patching now. Okay, I'm almost over the, the garage now. Verifying the patch. Now it's installing again? What the hell? Items Truck looks fine. Yeah, give me a second. I'll see if I can get it right now. Right there. Because I used to play with that one. Well, he must have got a booty call. <gasps> why you left so suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. That would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd be the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can't hate for that. No. Just make it feel bad. Absolutely. Oh, where were you? We got raided, <laughs> got killed, the base is destroyed. We're back to zero fame points. They even got your fame I mean, points somehow. I don't know how, Ghost. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my character's naked and everything now. Yeah, it takes a second. It'll. You probably can't move, right? No, no. I mean, on the loading screen, it's naked. You know when you select. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Since the update, when I log in, my character, like I can, I, I get into the world. I'm completely naked and I oh. can't move for like five seconds. I hear something. Airplane? Oh, I hear an airplane. Yeah, that's me, circling, doing figure eights. Hey, open up with the guns if you see anybody coming at me. Yeah, I wish I had them. I'm going to go get the magazines right now. I wish you had them, too. Are you going to do land at the trader? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go over to A0. I think we got a couple of backup. Actually, I know I've got two backup M249s. 
so. Oh yeah, we have at least two magazines. Get, maybe I'll get four magazines, 400 rounds, and then I'll spend an oh. hour packing them. Oh my god, my gear is totally destroyed. What? Yeah, my backpack is at 2%, and it's, ah, uh, can you pick me up a black backpack? Yeah, I'll grab one for you. For it later. Yeah, it's down to, I repaired it and it went to 50%, that's it. Uh, at least it didn't get completely destroyed and all the stuff inside of it. Well, my jacket's in there and it's at 7%. Oh my goodness. What about your guns? What the? Oh, hang on. Machine gun is good. Pistol. Yeah, it's just the backpack and the stuff in the backpack. You, destroyed. you got really lucky because I guarantee you when you fatal errored, zombies rushed you. Oh, you think so? Yep, I guarantee you that's what happened. And somehow they didn't. Your health is okay? Uh, health is 100%, but I've got a bunch of, in oh, i got a ton of injuries. Yeah. i got a bunch of C1s and everything. Yeah, I think you got really lucky. Oh, your truck is at like 30%. Oh, funny. I'm serious. Really? Yeah, I'm wondering if, if a beeper showed up. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you should hop in the truck and just get out of there. There's a bunch of repair yeah, kits in it, so... Uh, I just picked two up, so I'm just going to use those on it. Yeah, find a safe spot. Yeah. Wow. That's the only thing I can think of is a beeper, maybe. That's what it sounds like if the truck's damaged like that. Yeah. Unless somebody came by and just started shooting it randomly. Well, all my wounds are to my stomach in that. Uh... Yeah, zombie wounds. Oh, shit. The truck handles like fuck now. i got to find a spot to hide. Well, that was a little bit hairy. Okay. Definitely could have done better. Uh, the landing just wasn't too pretty, if I'm being honest. But it worked out. I didn't crash. Got pretty darn close. I can't believe my friggin'. Ah. Hey, at least you're alive, man. Considering. Yeah, there's no sense repairing my jacket either. No, I'll get you another one of those too. No big deal. Where's your, uh. That'll be in the last box, probably. Yeah, all the yeah. repair stuff's in the last box. I was looking for the jack. Holy jumping, man. Everything's red. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely a beeper. Probably right on top of it, too. Were you in the truck when you crashed? Yeah. Yeah, so I bet the beeper, that's probably why you survived. The truck ate the brunt of the explosion. That's what I'm thinking. Holy jumping. Like, like for a truck that was just sitting there, it's got a lot of damage. Now, I'll get you a backpack and sure a jacket, you... and what else do you need? I think that's it, really. Okay. Yeah, the jacket's toast, the backpack's toast. I'm not going to bother repairing the jacket. You know, it's through my stuff here. Yeah, that seems to be the, oh, and my, oh, fuck, my uh, knife sheath is at uh, 2%. We've got some spares back at the base. There might even yeah. be one in the truck somewhere I could find for you. Here's what I've got. Uh, let's see, clothing, tops, jackets. You want a leather jacket, right? No, no, I have the black tactical jacket. I'm just messing with you. Oh. I think the backpack does come from the general goods guy, though, right? Yeah. Black one, yeah. Yep. Mm. Okay, I used both the kits I had, and I have to grab one of yours. Yeah, use all the ones you need to. That's fine. Not worried about that at all. I'm just glad the truck survived, man. That's such a blessing. Oh, yeah. It was scary coming back in and seeing all that damage, though. I'm glad, you know, it's actually a good thing you had to verify your files, because it gave the zombies time to despawn since you were logged out for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I had come in with them on there, it might have been a problem. Your, um, your armor's okay and all that? Uh, oh, I never thought of checking my vest. Eh? Yeah, your vest, your helmet. My vest is at 80%, okay. so that's repairable. Yep. It's weird that certain things are damaged and certain things aren't. 98, 94, 87. Like everything everything was 100% when you dropped me off and now it's not, but Right. 
you know, I don't really care. I do, but you know what I mean. Okay, and I got infection. This is expensive. $31,000. Magazines and ammo alone. Hmm. I hope I have space for all this stuff in the plane. I genuinely hope. All right. Well, we're going to do it. Okay. Bringing the truck back to base. I'm not going back to get gas at that gas station. Still got over three quarters tank. Let's get the fuck out of this area. Too bad you didn't have the extra armor on your truck. We would have not got as much damage to it. Think so? Wheel covers and the back cover. I think it, all four tires were damaged. It would have just been more stuff to repair. That's what I think. I don't think he's listening to me anymore. Sorry, I am listening. I think it would have just been more stuff to repair. I think it would have had to repair nah. all the extra armor also, and the wheels still would have been damaged. Nah. You don't think so? I have no idea. Me either. I'm just, just going to argue with you. That's all. That sounds about right. I see what it's like to be a woman. No, I'm always right. <laughs> How's things at home today? You doing okay? <laughs> Want to talk about anything? Yeah. Let's not say we did. Yeah, I was going to say, on second thought, just keep it to yourself, okay? Yeah. All right, I got you a jacket and a backpack, and I just bought 400 right. rounds and four magazines. Wow. Which was thirty thousand dollars, amazingly. Holy jumping! Yep. And you gotta sit there and load each of those mags now. Yeah, that's gonna that's take where an it hour. Takes forever. Yep. Yeah. I really wish there was a, a single button you could press, like unpack all the ammo that you need and then press one button to load the magazine. All right, I wish yeah. you, you know that's whatever. It's fine. Um, put this underground. See what we could fit. I'm thinking the plane might have scared the zombies away. That would be great. Yeah, if it actually worked. Yep. Okay. That was annoying. I scrolled inside one of the menus while I was in the driver's seat, and it sent the plane forward right into a wall. Oh, you destroyed it? No, no, it just took like 4% from it, but it's still annoying that that would happen at yeah. all. I need to drink before I leave here, or I'm going to die of thirst on the flight back. Yeah, you scared me when, when you said I crashed and it sounded so serious, I thought like you crashed into the water or something. Like, oh no, not that. That's when I get truck. Yeah, it's still pretty annoying though, losing a truck. No shit. Yeah. No. But at least if, if, if you know I crashed into the water, at least you know where it is. <laughs> yeah, you know why it's gone. You don't log in and go, yeah, you don't log in and go, where the fuck is my truck? Where's all my shit? Oh, there's the base. 
you have a remote in this car? No, I carry it in my uh, shirt. Oh, it feels good to finally have a plane. Seems like most of this week we've spent trying to get this nailed down, and here we are flying it around like it's no big deal. Look at this thing. Black and red, company colors. It's already been all over the map with us. We can use it to go up to the, to the backup kits all over the place to make it way easier. Should start throttling down. I know base is here somewhere. Did I just go past it? That's the hospital. There's the base. I'm going to follow Corpse's normal route. He's got a way of doing this very consistently, so I'm just going to do it like he does it. Come in from this side here, moving, I guess, like northeast is probably the heading. Come in? Oh, yeah, bud. I'll open the hangar door for you. Thank you. We'll start bleeding off speed way back here, see how it goes. Right, we don't want to crash into the trees, but we can always, yeah, give it a little bit of throttle. That was as close as I'd ever want to come. That was okay. I got a little close to the treetops there, but I made it. A little more. A little more should be good. All right, I got a backpack here for you, but it's full, oh. full of um, ammunition and stuff. Oh. Okay. I was gonna drop my rec stuff on the ground. There's no sense keeping it. Yep. Unfortunately, that's true. Tell you what. Why don't you? Just drop, oh, drop the, um, hold on, I gotta take my kit off. I'm gonna start packing these magazines right now, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Alright, let's pull this, let's equip this, and then all my flight gear can just get stored in the jacket. When I need warm gear, it'll be here. The rest of this is my average kit. So it's basically the hat and undershirt, socks. Pretty simple. Oh, the thrilling part right now. Get to pack all the ammo in these big old suckers. Heck yeah. It's a long, slow process, but it's going to be well worth it when we have two guns mounted on the side of this airplane. We go brap, brap while we're flying. Every time we shoot, it's going to cost us 100 bucks, but it's going to be well worth it. Actually, it might be more than that. This is 400 rounds, and it costs $30,000. So, yeah, around 100 bucks a round, I guess, seems right. Maybe not quite that much, because I did spend money on the, the magazines, too. Yep, about halfway through the first magazine. I'm on, this, I'm on the second round of mags, like 30...
Is that better there? Like that first person? Yeah, oh, this is fun. Thrilling. It's way better in first person. At least you get to oh, see what that? the heck you're doing. Cargo drop in A1. Dude, that's hmm. running distance from here. You see that? Yeah, I'm trying to see what I got. Oh, I've got enough with me. I can go do it. Yeah, good shout on that. This is better for sure. Oh, it's just over the road there. Yeah, I mean, you, you could literally run there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead there. All right. Uh, I'll drop your airplane kits on the ground. Yep. Yeah, I'll take care of all that. If I need picked up, I'll call you. Yes, sir. You could take a dirt bike if you want. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, it might be faster to stick the dirt bike. You just... Yeah, leave that door open. I'll close it after you leave. The big one? Yep. I think this one's mine here. I can't remember. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't. I don't think I any, get on any of them. And basically nobody uses them anyway, so. I noticed that. That's because the truck's got inventory, the so. Hell? I can't get on any of them. Really? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can nudge it forward. Okay, let's try that. Hmm. I get an enter, but I don't get a drive. Uh oh. What the? Uh, That's weird. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay, which one is this? What if you pull the lock off of it? Yeah, it seems like they broke that. That's never been a problem before. Nope. I cannot get on a dirt bike. Can you? No, 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 I was having the same problem. Maybe, you know, try re-logging? So weird. Yeah. I was just riding a dirt bike, I don't know, like two days ago. Before the update, I guess. Yeah, I wonder if the update fucked the bikes. Probably did. And most people are driving Ranger trucks, so nobody would really notice unless they specified a dirt bike for themselves. Yeah, I'm sure somebody noticed if it was the case. They do look kind of rusty. I guess they always looked like that, didn't they? Nope, no go. No go. Well, take a truck. I don't know. Wow, I'll that thing run. that thing went flying. So that is southwest of here. Yep. I hope you all like packing magazines, because, uh... Oh, shit, I got all my weapons. You're maybe right. Oh, I better take the truck. That's all we're doing right now. But we'll be done in a second, and we're going to mount the guns onto the I plane. I empty all my weapons out. And that will justify the packing of the magazines. <sighs> oh, I can take that stupid car. Yes. Put it to use. Make it do some work. For a change. And then we have to hope these dirt bikes come back to life, because I kind of like riding dirt bikes. And not like we can sell them either, because you can't get them to the trader to sell them. No kidding. Yeah, I wonder if maybe I could put it on a jack stand, pull the wheels off, put it back on, see if something like that helps somehow. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Okay. The car wouldn't move either. Maybe they need a battery now. Because so there's no battery I, oh. no battery indicator on the bike at all. And there used to be oh. an empty line there. I've got You've a got batteries to test it with? Oh yeah, we've got batteries. Got batteries galore. I've left the front big hangar door open. Okay, I'll come take care of it. Ten more rounds here. Five more rounds here. And then we're done packing magazines for a while. Thank goodly moodily. Okay. I'm going to oh. take that and this. Take you and you. 
And I just rolled the Volkswagen. That's all right. It's an extra. Yeah. Ah, oh, now it won't stop fucking wiggling. Is there anything useful in it? No. Okay, so. I emptied it all out just in case. I'd like to get the 18000 for it, though. Yep. And use the money. Yep. But if it all goes topsy-turvy, it'll be okay. Oh, yeah. It's not a big deal. And it won't kill me not to have it. Okay, I think I got everything off the ground. Now we just got to try and fit it all in here, which isn't going to happen. We can take this stuff at least and then move these up here and maybe that somehow makes enough room. I think it is. I think it's going to work. Yep. That guy fits. Boom. That's everything. Uh, let's go grab let's grab a car battery first. Car battery. I've got a charged one. And let's see if this helps the dirt bike at all. Did they fix this, like add the battery to the dirt bike without telling us? That's possible. I don't see a place where it would go. Except maybe under the seat there, but it would be a different battery, you would think. Yeah, it'd be the little 9 volt. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not the size of a car battery, that's for sure. Okay, that's not doing it. Let's toss this in the backpack here. Okay, I can't stand on top of it, so that's not helping either. I'm going to throw a jack stand under it and see what it looks like all lit up. Service on car jack. Oh, it's missing a piece. It's got saddlebags now? What the? What? Wait, I'm... Oh. That would be awesome. Remove... What is this? It's giving me options that I don't understand. I'm going to try repairing it. It's at 100%, but it's giving me the option to repair it. I don't I oh. don't understand what's happening. Me neither. Yeah, it's missing a whole section here. Of plastics, which I thought it looked a little bit weird. Well, yeah, the bikes do look a little weird right now. Yeah, there's. So that means we have to go buy parts for the bikes. There's something missing, I guess. I guess. Yeah, maybe we. Maybe that's why we can't ride them. They're missing something. And if we can put saddlebags on them, that would actually be a oh. full-on game changer. I wouldn't even be mad oh, yeah. about what's happening right no. now. No, me neither. Saddlebags? Fucking right. Yeah, bud. Okay. You pop you back. I'll have to go to the trader after I get this drop. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll follow you. We'll sell that car, turn it into a saddlebag for a motorcycle, maybe? Mm hmm. I didn't see anything written about that, though. Me either. Come on, where's that drop? It's probably not on the ground yet, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm looking up in the sky. I don't even see it. I'm staying in the car. That way, if somebody starts shooting at me, I can just take off. Yep. Yeah, it looks like there's two others online. Yep, two others.
There it is. I hope it's not gonna land on me. Ah, I hope it does. That would be funny. I'll laugh. Oh, it's way down there. Oh. Oh, let me kill the zombies first. 93%. 93%. Okay. So these two guns are ready to deploy. Let's go install these on an airplane. Get some chugga chugga going. Brat. Brat. Oh, I should paint them. Let's paint them fire engine red. Okay, this goes down here. We got so much paint. We could honestly just paint people's cars for for kicks. Like, hey, you want a paint job? Stop by our base. Try not to hit a landmine. If you can make it to the door without hitting a landmine, we'll paint your car for free. Yeah. If you hit a landmine, we're going to lockpick your car and steal everything inside of it. Deal? That's too bad about this backpack, dude. Hate that. Uh. At least they're cheap to replace. It's just annoying that you got booted out of the game and then it cost you a whole backpack and jacket. Yeah. And she. Yeah, did you find a new one yet? No, I didn't even go in there yet. Okay, we got some for sure. I know I'm we do. Too busy. I'm too busy trying to... Be useful? Me too. Boom, there's one gun. Let me out. Four wide, so I can't really fit it in here. That's okay. We're going to install it. Equip. Very nice. Now we got guns, baby. That's a decked out airplane right there. And it's almost hard to believe this is an official server with the level of loot that we have going on. Look at this plane's got Fucking RPKs. Hard. Did it flip over again? No, I got a card. Oh, a key card. Yeah. What kind? What does it say? I don't know yet. Okay. One, two, three, uh, a bottle of booze. Come on, this is a waste of time and money. I got a card four hours ago, and I was excited about it. He's like, these drops have to start giving better gear. Yeah, they give a whole bunch of nothing. Helmet, tactical vest. They used to be like awesome loot things because it was all military stuff you usually got, right? Yep. Oh, another 40 uh, screwdriver. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, AK-47 mags for three, a sight for it, three boxes of ammo for it, a wrist adapter for it, but no weapons. Well, we've got a bunch of AKs back here at base, so that's actually pretty good, too. And a chainsaw. Oh, my favorite. Except we have, like, three or four, so we could sell that one for, I think, 900 bucks or something in perfect shape. And there's 17 minutes left on the timer. And that was after running over with all the zombies and shooting some of them. Right. Actually, I can just head to the trader, right? Because you're going to come meet me? Yeah, I'll come meet you. Uh, you want to fly out or drive out? I'm going to fly out, but I'm going to make room in the inventory here for a... Uh, I'm going to see if I can fit a whole metal box in. Okay, which trader am I going to go to? I'm going to go to the A0 trader, I guess. That sounds good. I'll meet you there. I wonder if I can fit a chest in this plane. I've never tried. I really hope I can. 
I think you get one chest in it. That's it. I think. I'm not sure, though. I don't... Oh, no. I don't think you can get a chest in the plant. Yeah, I would think... I try. I, I'm going to try, but I'll be surprised if it actually goes, to be if, honest. If, it, if the metal one doesn't fit, you can try the wooden one, right? Because they're smaller. Yeah. The other ones are smaller. But anything that gives you more room than what you got is worth it. Yeah, well, I'm thinking I might have to take the truck because we're going to get a dirt bike part. And if the dirt bike oh, yeah. part is too big... Yeah, so if you bring a truck, do you want to bring Ghost and we'll do his up for him or not? Um, I don't know. Is he ever going to play on this server again? I don't know. I say we hold off. If he comes on, we'll we'll help him get decked out, but I don't think we should spend the money on it if we're not sure. I oh, know, because it's like $18,000, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, metal chest isn't going to fit in here, which I guess is reasonable. be kind of crazy. But I'm also a little it's bit sad. Cause I, would... I can fit a metal chest in the boat, though. True. But the airplane has to be able to fly, so it's it's more of a weight thing. Yeah. But we can fit a backpack in here. Two of them, I think. Yep. Yep. I left one on the ground you can use if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, and then I decided, no, probably. Oh, what'd Probably you do not. with the red one we got yesterday? Oh, dude, we got a ton of backpacks. I'm not, yeah, yeah, not worried about. I I picked up a red one yesterday. We can use that. I think what I could do is just abandon a couple of these repair kits. I don't need so many in here. And the jacket. All right, I'll hop in my truck. Come meet you. I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm lost. Let's see. I'm going to check my map. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Can't see you. Yeah. Oh, you don't see me? I see you on the map. You're near the base. How did you know that? That's crazy. Yeah, it shows it. Are you hacking, bro? No, I've got the... Uh, I paid the extra money for the C team members. Oh, my goodness. I must have missed that. I'm going to have to buy that later. Yeah, it's a thousand bucks. Oh, dude. That's US. a lot of money. Yeah, but you know what? I like you guys so much. I want to see where you are, so I was willing to spend the money. I was believing you until then. Now now it sounds like bullshit. <laughs> okay, where am I? Okay, I got to go to the right. Uh... I'm still putzing around base. I'm going to get my truck soon. I gotta go to bed soon. I'm tired. Yep. Plus, I'll probably be up at 6:30 tomorrow playing, and you'll be still sleeping. Yes, I will be. I'll I'll hack your stream and stream for you. Hey, there you go. I'll appreciate it. I keep my stream hours up, you know. That's how I get to meet new people. Yeah. And I can tell them this is what you when they're watching me. This is what you do not do while playing Scum. <laughs> Yeah, like either of us is an authority. Well, I know you can't play tag with mechs unless you want to die. Well, that's a new update, though, because it used to be that melee damage would hurt them, right? I never tried it. Me either, but that's All what it I... said in the update notes. I sat with a 50 cal and took them out. Oh, have you actually done that? Yeah. 50 cal sniper rifle. We gotta get right in the camera nose. I hope we can find a 50 cal because that's been um, Pawn's goal since the first time he logged in. He wanted to kill a mech, and he hasn't been able to do it yet. And I feel bad because he spent forty thousand dollars on rocket launchers. Well, we don't have any rocket launchers. Oh, I thought we had one. No, he tried it with forty thousand dollars worth of grenades. Oh Jesus! Yeah, he bought that's a whole a bunch of, of grenade man. grenade launcher grenades. Had a backpack full. Built himself a uh. grenade launcher. And he just sat there know. hitting it. Poof, poof. I don't know if I'd spend that kind of money. It's his only goal. He was like, oh, dude, I've got $40,000. Can you just buy me that many grenades right now? Like, oh, okay. He spent wow. every penny on it. So respect, man. Respect. And he, I mean, he yeah. got it smoking. It was actually definitely smoking. But it wasn't quite enough to get across the finish line. Uh, 
that, yeah, at forty thousand dollars, you're not getting that back and stuff you get off the body. Right. Like if you're gonna do that, you gotta make sure you're getting something back. Well, that's what I kept telling him. I, he he was convinced. I said, I don't think you're supposed to kill the mechs. Like that's not really a part of the game. There might be a way to do it, but it's not. You're supposed to just dodge them. They're that's what they're for. Yeah. Most people snipe them and shoot at the cam the nose cameras. Yes. Yeah, I saw a video of a guy doing that. He said you could do it even with a 12 gauge, uh, but he was laying there with a. He was playing on a creative server, so he had it. He could just spawn in whatever he needed. He actually oh, broke okay. a whole 50 cal before he killed the thing. Like he he whittled oh, it wow. down to zero health, and he was still shooting it, and it was not far away, so he wasn't missing. I mean, he must have gone through. 80 or 100 rounds, I can't remember now. I guess if we're going to do that, which I would be willing to do, you bring some gun repair kits, right? The weapon cleaning kits? Yeah. And you bring, you craft ammo. You spend the time to go get the uranium and craft up a couple hundred rounds of armor piercing. Turn the volume back up now that I'm not in the plane. Okay, the AK-47 magazine is an ammo we're going to keep? Uh, I think so, yeah. And the key card is opens up all doors in the Z2 bunker. I think that's the same one Part I have. 47 hours. Yeah, keep that keep that okay. in a specific bunker Z2 yeah so yours is an updated version of mine we're gonna sell uh, the, do we need the tactical vest should I hang on to it sell the, grab the helmet tactical vest is the armor right yeah the armor chest yeah yeah, yeah hold on to that because we can make another backup kit with it okay, I'm gonna sell the helmet though that's junk. oh I see you coming yep I'm gonna go see if I can buy motorcycle parts. Oh yeah, that's what I want to check. I'm not high enough to check that. I hope I am. I've only got 248. Yeah, I think it's 240. I'm hoping. I'm still uh, I'm still uh, bottom feeder. So. I'm just a wannabe these days. Either buy or All right, get two-wheeled motorbike, dirt bike. No, there's nothing. Oh, what the fuck is? This? What are we supposed to do? I think they broke it. I think they probably released something by accident that they didn't mean to. Might have even been this hot fix, because the bikes are broken. Huh. That's sad. And it's 250 for for vehicles. Can yeah, armor's 250, 340 to buy a vehicle outright. All the parts are 250. Yeah, it really, it really sucks dying. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's in this truck. Oh, do you want to drain the fuel? If you got jerry cans? Yeah, I might have a couple empty ones. Yeah, let's drain the fuel. Do we want the alternator off of this? No, I think we're okay. Battery? No, nah, it's all right. Just go ahead and sell it. Okay, I gotta see what I left in it though. I think I left my gear in there. Oh, hey, where'd my clothes go that were in there? Oh, you took them already? Yep. There's the lock. You'll have to put it on, take it off again. I don't know who did uh, it last. I did. Oh, well, and you probably don't have to. Wrong button. Let's see what he's worth. Hold on, let me get the fuel. Yeah, it's worth 24000 so far. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's all the armor on it, right? Yep, definitely the armor helps, because they're only worth sixteen in good condition, usually. Yeah. Hold on. Let me try to get some more still. Break your truck, truck's worth 84000 Yeah, well, it's full, of tr it's full of parts. I should solve it, right? Good luck.
Okay, I got all the fuel I could get. Okay, I'm gonna sell the puppy. Oh, oh, oh. Gone. And you're a wealthy man. Well, I'm gonna give you some of the money. Oh, where did it all go? <laughs> what? Here. Boom. Thank you, sir. Easier doing just drop 10. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm not complaining. Although we're probably closer to each other than we were earlier, considering the... Oh, yeah, because you spent a shitload of money on uh, weapons and that. Yep. Just on the ammo. If I had to buy the guns, too, I would I would be poor right now. Legitimately poor. And what am I at? I'm at... Almost 90,000. And I've got 176. Huh. So you're almost double what I got. Yep. Be all that you can be in the arm. Oh. And I got a bunch of stuff to leave at the base. Ammo and mags. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Okay, yeah, I was thinking I might buy some more repair kits, but I think I'm okay for now. I got four, and I'll just go around the server tomorrow trying to hit spots where they all pop up so I can get some free ones. They're not super expensive. It's just annoying buying things that I know I can find and I know where to find them. Who knows? I might even go after some tonight. Wouldn't hurt. Got a little time left. But I do want to try taking the plane up with the guns on it now. Do a little shooting. A little bit of brah, brah. Brah. Looks pretty mean with those guns on there. Red on the side. Loaded up. We got 400 rounds on board. $30,000 worth of ammunition. Well... I guess I'm exaggerating a little bit, right? It's probably 26,000, something like that. Still a, a bunch load. And I don't know if I'll ever hit anything with it, but it's fun to have. I suppose the real use case for them is if I'm flying around and then I hear another plane in front of me, I could try and chase it down and attack it. So dogfighting. But... Trying to hit ground targets with a couple of squad assault weapons mounted to the side of an airplane, that's very, very unlikely. <laughs> it's just so unlikely. Especially with this game doing simulated bullet trajectories, it's not like it's going to auto-aim for you. You'd have to get real lucky. Did you uh, mount the guns yet? Yep. Did you paint them? Painted them red. Awesome. I think it looks pretty mean. Red guns on the black fuselage under the red wings. Yeah. Hmm. We should go do a strafing run. I was just thinking the have same you, thing. Have you been to that small island in Z4, the one near the Z3 marker? No, I have not. I think that's the island I wanted to show you. Yeah, we can make a pass over it. It's pretty close. Yeah. You got it in you? Or, or do you want to do it tomorrow? It doesn't matter. Alrighty. I've got, uh, I want, just want to drop this stuff off the base, this jacket, the flak jacket. Yep. I'll throw the key card in your truck. Oop, it's in your truck. Sweet. Do you want the bottle of, uh, Kilmo and Volca in your truck? Um, if it'll fit, yeah, go ahead and throw it in there. I'll put it in the base later. No, no place to put it. Yeah, that's alright. There is, speaking of the base, uh, I'm gonna go west. Oh. Uh, yeah, what, northwest. Oh, that uh, drop is still sitting there, too. Good and empty. I think I left a uh, uh, crafted lock on the ground. 
That's alright, I think we got some spares lying around somewhere. But oh, what's really cool now is I got 240 shooting Yeah, that's excellent. Ah, uh, the fucking thing started using my 40 instead of using I had nothing left on it. I hate that. I know, it's the worst. Yeah. Oh, I can get out of the door. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, you're not far. Oh, yeah, you're gonna take the plane. This will be fun. I can't wait to use these guns, man. I don't think I've used an M249 on the side of an airplane yet. I'm just going to drop this stuff in the drop-off box. Yeah, that's fine. Tomorrow morning I'll have to go through that. I've got a bunch of stuff in my truck that needs distributed. Awesome. Am I willing to do a kill box run? I am, and as a matter of fact, I'm trying to put together some people well, to do it with. So. I've got... Uh, one guy, Echo, who's got some experience, and then oh, my buddies, Corpse that. and Pawn, who might want to no, do it with us. Nope, won't go there either. Holy shit, we gotta clean up, uh, yeah, we definitely gotta clean up box. Yeah, it's been getting used a lot lately. But you could put the stuff yeah. in these backpacks at the bottom. They're all empty. Oh, yeah. Just a bunch of spare backpacks I didn't know what else to do with. I didn't want to throw them away or sell them, because they're kind of handy when you need them. Yeah. So yes, kill box is oh, coming. Oh yeah, look at them all. Shit, we can put a couple of Definitely them in coming. Everything. Yeah, I was gonna do that there. actually. Good shout. Yeah, I'd grab uh, two dark ones if you can. Yeah, I don't really. They're gonna stay inside for the most part. Yeah, that's so. true. Yeah, so take the brightest one, the red ones, because nobody wants the red ones. Yeah. Yep. We could do that. Oops. Just make sure there's nothing in them. You good? Yeah, I think so. I should fill my bottle. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the bikes now. They're missing tons of shit. Yeah, when you put them up on the jack stand, why don't you grab a jack stand and look at it? Because it's kind of wild how it looks. Uh, where have we got a spare? Oh, in the automotive store. Maybe. There's definitely some in both of our trucks. Yeah, I just... I think we could actually fit yeah, three in here. Yeah, it's missing all the plastic we used to have. Where'd it go? But look at it. It phases into the saddlebag, right? The Hellrider model. See it? Oh, yeah. No passenger seat. Bag. Yeah, just the wheels. The parts still don't exist at the trader. So they, they yeah. definitely made a mistake with this hot fix, and they busted the bikes. Yeah, because we're missing, uh, like, fucking stuff on the front end of the bike, too, on the wheels. Yep, yeah? the fender's not there, and it's all rusty. The shock absorbers. Look at the shock absorbers. Yeah, they're, they're, blue. they're missing their protective oh. cover. So, yeah, there's, there's like, there's something going on where they implemented half a Hellrider yeah, bike two or something. Styles of, yeah, there's two styles of bike. Did you see that? Yep, that's what I was trying to say. That's got the regular one like that, and then the, the saddlebag version. Yeah. Which has no back seat. Yeah, I want the saddlebag. I want the saddlebag. And now if I get on it, and you look at where I'm sitting, I'm actually sitting on open air. There's nothing under my butt. No, I know. It's weird. So, it's pretty broken at the moment. We have, we have to figure out what the fuck they did to our bike. Oh, we'll figure or it out. they have to give us our money back. Yeah. Give, give me a refund after 800 hours. Yeah. No, I want my money back on the bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Full cash of what we paid for them, not just fucking. What would that be? We got 40, 80, that'd be $160,000 worth of bikes right there? Yeah, I'll take it. Oh yeah, that gun's the cost. <laughs> what we need is a gun up top to on top of the ring for me to shoot. Yeah, I mean you can I should be able to stand up from my seat and shoot that. You, you can. Well, you can stand up from your... You can shoot from your seat, you know. I have to try it. Yeah, you can put your rifle in hand. I gotta turn this thing down so I'm oh, not yeah. yelling. 
Hey, I can use my machine gun. Okay. Yep. There we go. That's Which better. Which gives us a, a little better for aiming for anything like that, right? Yeah, that gives... At least you can have some accuracy. I could give... I mean, these are really for a dogfight, basically. Yeah. But they look fucking like... Sitting up here in the seat with them, you can see the belt. The ammo belt. Oh, on the really? Side of it. That's great. Yeah. On the one, because you get the inside of one, the outside of the other, right? Yep. You can see all the rounds going into it. It actually looks really cool. It's too bad it's just us online right now. I'd love to terrorize somebody. Yeah. Alright, Z3 Island. I think we're pointed more or less toward it right now. I'll take a look. Yeah, basically. I can see it coming up. Wonder if uh, Pawn and, and Corpse are going to come online tonight. It's kind of late. Corpse would be good to come on and get them on a plane. You can chase them and shoot them out of the sky. Yeah, it'd be fun for us to do some uh, some flying around together for sure. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Can you aim if the plane's upside down? What do you mean? Like, what does the aiming look like for you? Is it easy or hard like this? Like, oh, if I bring my rifle up? Yeah, yeah, if you pull out your machine gun again. Oh, I just crashed. Oh, boy. I've been kicked off the server. What? I'm dead. It says you've been kicked off the server. Why? No idea. I guarantee you I'm dead, though. Yeah, you're definitely dead. Unless you land in the water, and then you'll and all my gear. be drowning. Yeah, all my gear's gone. Though. Yeah. And we were too high to even a guy hit in the water. Yeah. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. Why would you get kicked off the... That's what it said? Kicked off the server? Mm -hmm. Maybe we shouldn't yeah. try shooting upside down in the future. All my gear, all my brand new jacket, and the brand new backpack, I mean, Wow. My MK-18. And I'm just falling. Oh, oh, can you see where I'm falling? Matt. No. I'm falling at the edge near the railroad bridge. I'm going to hit the ground, so it's going to be... I should be able to get my gear back. Okay, that's Boom, something. dead. Ah, oh, no, into the water. Shit. How far into the water? Like, right near the shore. It might be salvageable. I'll do sector, I guess. Yeah, can you see where you... Or did you... Did you get a good picture I of where you landed? I had the map open, yeah. Okay. I had the map open. What a waste of my time. I should've just went to bed. I can't believe you got kicked, dude. That's so brutal. Did you know that was gonna happen? Are you trolling us? I got my eye on you. I'm watching. And the sad part, now I gotta fucking redo my parachute. Like, well, I don't know why you come back handcuffed. I really don't. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. It's because they don't want you. Close I am to the ground. They don't want you to be able to uh, move around up there. Yeah, but you should be able to. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit the ground before I hit the fucking parachute open. I am not seeing you currently. Uh, I'm coming down uh, near the road, towards near the railroad track, that town I'm in. I believe you. I'm just busting on you. Oh, I see your plane. You're right in front of me. I can see you circling. So where you are is where I fell out. Oh, no I don't know if you can... Uh, oh, I see your, I see your parachute. Yeah. yeah, I see your oh, parachute. Run. I see you off to my right. You're climbing. Yep. Yeah, I see where you are. You're coming towards me. You're over to my left now. Yep, I see you. I see your name, yeah. Damn, this sucks. But now we got My main thing is trying to get my gear back in my hand. You said you landed in the water, but you were looking at the map, so you don't really know where you landed, yeah, right? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. I have an idea. Was it close to the uh, railroad bridge? Yeah. To the left, you see the 
the indent from the railroad bridge? Ah. Yep. It's hard to explain. You see the Z2? The letter Z2? Yep. Go north of that and for the land. It should be close, very close to that point. Okay. Because I can't even swim because if I get in the water, I'm going to get killed by sharks. Oh, my fucking pain points are fucking way down now, too. Fuck. Yeah, that's when an admin would be really nice. Yeah, but they don't give a fuck. So you sat down here and by the, the Z2, is, huh? Well, where the, like, follow that north, right? Yeah. Like a little boot down there type thing? Where it meets the land. There's like a little boot. The shape of the island looks like a boot with a heel. Yep. Yep, I see that. Like Little Italy. Little Italy. Over here. Oh, I see your body, I think. Oh, good. Pretty sure. Can you drop a marker on it? Yeah. It's all the smoke. Oh, yeah, that would be an idea. There's mechs where I'm coming up on, too. Shit. Yeah, don't run right through the city there. That construction zone's got a bunch of mechs. Yeah. Yeah, I think if if what I saw actually is your body, I think you're going to be... I think it's going to be pretty easy to recover the gear. Yeah. It's so hard to tell from the sky, though. I see something that doesn't quite look like a rock. It looks a little blacker than a rock. My guy's white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's wearing all black gear. Yeah. Yeah, I, all I wonder if shooting upside down was what kicked you, or if it was just coincidence. It said kicked, not, not like no, your game. From server. Your game didn't crash. No. I got zombies on my tail. You want to take them out? It just flew over my head. Oh, this is one of the event areas. Is it? I know this. Yeah. I never hang out in the city because it's got the mechs on the other end, so I just kind of avoid it. Yeah. All right, I'm landing the plane. I'm going to come try and run in and help you here. Why aren't you kind of... Your plane's kind of far from where we're about to go. Like, yeah, really there's nowhere closer for me to, to uh, land. It's not that far. It's not that bad. I'm just trying to avoid the max. Pull off some of my hot gear here. Hey, Mr. Mech, can you see me? If you can, don't shoot me. Because I'll cry if you kill me. Okay. I really hope I saw your body. I'm pretty sure I did. We're going to have to try that again, flying upside down and shooting, and we'll just do it somewhere. We'll give you like a, a gun we don't care about and put you in the plane naked and see if, yeah. it, see if you get kicked again, because that's, that's weird, but it'd be important to find out if that's what's doing it. Let's take a look at the map now. I'm pretty sure I was over where I'm heading. Where is this railroad? Yeah, I'm just going due south from here, basically, and I'll find... I'll be at that spot that I scoped from the sky. I'm hoping I'm going to the right spot. Yeah, you're headed the right way. It was right along the beach line in front of you, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. We're down near the nipple, or the tip. Yeah, it's the, the small penis next to the fat penis. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but there should be a minon to complain about stuff like this. It would be nice if there was any way to contact them at all. Because you, yeah. sh you should get so your fame points back. Yeah. 
At least the fame point. Yeah. And the thousand bucks. Thousand dollars. Yeah, but who cares? You know, you should get it back, but who cares? The fame points is what sucks. It takes a long time to build yeah. those up. Oh, I see you coming. Yeah, right behind you. I just stopped it from air of breath. Me too. Long ass run out here. Bet you're doing better than me though. I'm wearing like 100 pounds of kit. Yeah. Okay, where was it? I think you're pretty close to what I was spotting from the sky. I probably should have got you to stay in the sky and fly over. Yeah, I can run back. Me. No, no, go this way. Yeah, if, if we... Well, let's see if I don't find it. Exactly. Because I know the body rolled a little bit. That's why I'm thinking it was up here more. So what, when you logged in, you saw yourself falling? No, no, when I was falling. When I was parachuting. Oh. I not parachuting, but not parachuting. When I was not parachuting. Got to be around here somewhere. I really hope I was seeing that correctly. Well, you were streaming, weren't you? I was streaming. I am streaming, yep. I wonder if we can use that to fight uh, what happened. Maybe. We could use it as proof of what happened. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid this might have been what I was looking at, and it's just a rock. Where are we? We're coming around the, the tip now, right? Yeah. No dice yet. You're sure it was in the water and not on the land? All positive. I know I hit the water. Okay. Right at the edge and the body rolled a bit. Alright, I guess I'll go get back in the plane and see if I can't just find that spot again. I'd really not like to lose money, fame points, and all my fucking gear. I know. I don't want you to either. Shadows. I know that's the shadows look like what I'm looking for. It is shallow here, so maybe we get lucky. I mean you might have to swim up and down the coastline a little bit with tab open. I'm trying it now. Oh, what did I just see? Something. Oh, I've got my fingers right. crossed, man. That's not what I wanted. Fish is swimming over to me. It's not a big one with a lot of teeth, is it? That's fucking ultimate. That's all I need now. Because I'm deep enough to get those. see if hanging out in the water cools us down a little bit. I am way too hot right now. Actually, I might be able to fit the vest in my backpack, and that would help a lot to keep me from overheating. It's one of these things, like, I get so used to carrying the vest, I'm afraid to take it off. But since there's nobody else online right now, I probably don't need a full armor vest at the moment. I think I'll be okay. 
That's basically all the heat creating stuff. I could take this off. And that'll help a little bit. And temperature's dropping. It's going to go back up while we run. There's no getting around it. Thor's right. I should have just stayed in the plane and kept circling, but... I don't know. I wanted to get down here and help him. I really thought I saw the body. And it appears that I didn't. If anyone's just tuning in, wonder what, wondering what happened, we were flying the plane around, and Thor crashed while we were flying. And then, of course, when you crash you exit automatically whatever vehicle you're in because you you log out that's what a crash is is a, a forced log out it said he was kicked from the server there's enough breathing apparatus so we can actually stay in the water and look for this wouldn't that be better right yeah but yeah when he logged back in obviously he was falling out of the sky he hit the ground we're pretty sure he hit somewhere near the coastline so we're going to try and recover his equipment. He was wearing everything. His backpack, his guns, all of it. Too bad I didn't get a screenshot when it happened. I mean, we do have we do have the, the stream. You could go to that if you want. Try and look back. I can try that, I guess. How do I access that? There you go. That's it right there. I can backtrack on it, or this is from... Yeah, you should be able to backtrack on that, yep. That's the current stream right there. So it's still going, but I think you can rewind. It's YouTube, not Twitch. Yeah, I don't know how far I want to go back, though. So. Whatever point the plane turned upside down. Okay, you're getting in the plane here, huh? I see a car down there. Doing ammo. I was, mounting the guns. I would say it was probably 15 minutes ago, something like that. Uh, enter your PIN number. Light stuff. Okay, we're flying. Okay. Let's recover a little breath before we try uh, and take they, this yeah, shot. Coming back looking for, oh, they, there's the plane upside down. I can't see what's below you, that's the problem. There's the plane, okay. But I can just pause this right where I... Because I must see myself falling out now. I don't think I ever saw you falling out, because I kept flying. Oh. I mean, the only only thing we can get from that is kind of an estimate of the area that you fell out at. Oh, I think you're... You must be doing something else if you're flying back away from the zone. All right, let's get a little water in us before we get back up in the air. I'm going to try going in without all my kit on. It's so hot right now, I don't I know. I see Thor in the plane. No, I don't see Thor in the plane. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's the area where the double nipples are. Okay, I'm going to get back in the plane right now, so hopefully I can get back up in the air without crashing. What, 96%? Uh, Okay. Yep. I just hope it's not way far out in the water, but you think you saw it go down near the oh, shore, no, I, right? I went I went down near the shore. I know I rolled in the water, like towards deeper water. What about right in front of you? Like if you go straight out, is that just a, a, a backpack shaped rock? I see. Right there is where you flip. I see my name. I see my name. And I don't see my name in the plane. There. Right there. 
Okay. Back to this one. So you want me to go where? Straight out into the water. Is that a backpack-shaped rock? It looks like a backpack from up here, but... Right here? No, keep going. To your left. Yeah, that's probably just a rock, right? Straight to your left. Uh, yeah, that's a rock. That's a rock. Dang it. I can see the plane go over me. Yeah, I'm trying real hard to see something useful, but... Oh, you're getting way out there, huh? Uh, Watch your breath, man. You've been under for a while. Saw your name disappear. It's because I got too far away, okay. Ah. I don't know. Brutality, man. I was hoping if I could find my sword or something, I'd know I was close, right? Yep, absolutely. How deep does it go? Did it just keep rolling downhill? Yeah. Yeah. And then you gotta be careful for the shark, right? Yep. I wouldn't mind having I can, we, if we had scuba gear, this would be easier. Yeah, scuba gear would be very nice right now. It'd be kind of fun, too. It'd be like a little side mission. Yeah. Even though it's for a bad, bad thing happen and make it a little better. I just don't think this area looks right. It might not. I, was, rocky. I just thought I saw a single rock that ended up, or I thought I saw a backpack that ended up being a rock. I gotta go get fuel, I'll be right back. If he's still looking when we get back from fueling up, I'll take off all the gear that I can and leave it in the plane and try and help him. I don't care if we get killed by a shark trying, we gotta get his gear if we can. And if we can't, we're gonna help him put things back together. We got plenty of money. We'll help him get geared back up. It's just annoying. I know that feeling. It's not really about losing the gear. Because you can get gear back. It's the principle of the thing. That feeling like, yeah, man, I gotta. I lost all my progress. My kit is gone. Yeah, you can replace it, but it's still just a terrible feeling. By the way, I'm not pressing any buttons, and the plane isn't nosediving, so what's up with that? That's new. Uh, let's see about aviation here. It's going to go up any minute now. That rises pretty quickly from zero, doesn't it? Hey yo. Oh, I don't blame you. 
I don't think you did that on purpose. I was just busting on you. I don't know if it was even related. It could just be pure coincidence. I don't see why you would get kicked out for shooting a gun in a plane upside down. That doesn't make any sense. I think probably what happened was his ping got too high. And who knows what might have caused that. It's just unfortunate that it happened while we were flying. That seems more likely what would have happened here. But we'll help him get re-geared. It does suck right now. It's not the first time he's died. It won't be the last. He's a little upset, but, you know, it's just part of the game. It happens to all of us. I lost all my gear like three days ago trying to get a plane because I ran in wearing it like a fool. I lost all my gear in front of an abandoned bunker one time. I actually got this on stream. It was a while ago now, but I we, we had a key card for the abandoned bunker. So we went there, Pawn and I, and the door wasn't giving us any information. It didn't say how many hours. It didn't have the option to open it. The key card wasn't working. So we can complain about this. I tried uh, unlocking it. Oh, oh 10 o'clock reset. The game again. Guess what? I just died oh. too. And, You're in the plane? Yep. I didn't even think about oh. the 10 o'clock reset. Didn't even think about it. Oh boy. Yeah, two M two forty nines, I've been gone there. Yep. I gotta go get another plane too. I was coming in for a landing. None... Oh, you might get lucky. Yeah, right. I was too far off the ground. No, I mean yeah, but you might be able to salvage some of this stuff out of the plane. Well, hopefully. Where was this? Uh I was by the the Z zero airfield, Z zero. Z1, whatever it is. <clears throat> Brutal. Yeah, it's too far for me to run to. Oh, yeah. No, it's okay. The sad part is now we both have to run back to base. Yeah, at least you're probably going to be a little closer than me. A little bit. Yep. That's super I'll annoying. I'll tell Ghost to get on and come get me, or Corpse to come pick us up. Right? I bet they would if we called for help. Oh, good, I'm naked. Wonderful. But are you dead? Yeah. I'm, oh, you are for sure dead? I mean, I'm gonna be dead. Yeah, unless unless there's some magic that happens right now. $30,000 worth of ammunition gone. Yeah, and I'm not even going to bother looking for my stuff, because it's not a reset now, it won't be there. Yeah, I'm in the air, like, way up in the air. Falling? I'm about to be. You, you're still not in the plane? No, I'm not in the plane. I don't even see the plane. Oh, there's the plane. I'm on a rock. I'm not dead. What? Oh! How is that possible? Can you see the plane from where you are? I don't see it at the moment, but... Dude, I'm going to look for it, because it put me on the yeah. ground nice and gentle. Maybe we can salvage this airplane. Man, I didn't pay for it. Yeah. I just want the guns and ammo back, really. Yeah, I'm dying of thirst, though. I have no food, all that swimming. We got lots of ocean right there. Just drink that. Yeah, have you drank that stuff? I have. It's an instant puke. Yeah. Okay, let me turn the sounds up. I don't hear a plane exploding or anything, but... Who knows? I saw it next to me in the sky while I was loading in. Yeah. And now it's just nowhere. There's no airplane sound at all. You said Z0? What is it? Oh, that's way over. Yeah, yeah, this is that zero air airfield. Yeah, with the trader, right? No, no, no. Oh, you oh, you mean the little airfield. Oh, okay. Yeah, the the one where we go to get fuel. Yeah. I can't believe it didn't kill me. What is going on?
I'm I'm so confused. It just set me down on a rock all nicey dicey. I wonder if they change that so when it restarts you don't die if you're in the air. That would be kinda nice. Do the same thing when you pick the Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't have done that for you. Just randomly running through the woods looking for an airplane. I'm gonna destroy this bank card I got on me. Oh, start a bank card. I don't want to get to my town. Yeah, you don't need that. That's for sure. Dude, how much money I got to spend shortly? Well, I'll help you get regeared. I know, and it should. I mean, it doesn't, like, the thing is, there should be an easy way of putting a ticket in for what just happened. Yeah, I mean, I've got, uh, I'm in the Discord for the gg.host, people that host this official server. So okay. I can try and put a ticket in there, I guess. I don't, they don't seem yeah, to respond. I've tried before. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I kick from a server while I'm in a plane, and then fucking charge me all this to get back. Yeah. And then have a server reset where I can't even get my gear back. Well, the gear's still there. Oh. That event town, there's a red Volkswagen. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't go look at it yet, but... I'm looking at it now. I can't even open the hood. It's locked. No, it's not. Oh, there's an engine! How many wheels? It needs... Uh, it's got, uh... One wheel, so it needs three tires and a driver's seat. That's cool. I have no way of locking it. I know. We because need... my lock, my dial lock, is in my backpack, which is in the middle of the ocean. We need one that goes right now so we can both get back to base. Yeah. I really want to look for nice. this plane in these woods. I feel like it might not be lost. Alright, where am I going here? I want to go due north. Which just doesn't look right. Oh, <laughs> it's because it's south. I need to go south. I'm trying to get back to anywhere where I get. Yeah, the way it just set me down after that restart, I really think there might be an airplane in this woods somewhere. And if we showed up, if we found it and then showed up with a chainsaw, we might be able to clear a strip to get it back up in the air. I was going. Did you go get the other plane and uh, search for it? Fly over? Yeah, yeah, I could try that. I mean, I'm still on foot at the airfield, so it's going to be hours before I can do anything. I got to run all the way out. back I, to base. And I got to go to bed soon. I'm falling asleep here. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up logging out at the airfield, but I want to check the airfield first because if they implemented a thing that puts you down on the ground, maybe they implemented a thing that puts the airplane at the airfield when you're close. Be kind oh, of yeah. kind of crazy, but hopefully. You got a lock on it? Yep. Yeah, it's a worst case. Really just steal it. Right. And if it's in the woods, nobody's even gonna find it, right? Hopefully. Find any garages, I'm stopping to see if there's anything for that red Volkswagen I can steal. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if we could just get that running right now, get us both back to base, but it's bedtime <laughs> anyway. Oh, oh shit! Fucking ran right in front of two zombies. No. Well, if you die again, you could just spend some gold, right? Yeah, oh, that's what I'll do. I'll just climb back to base. If I'd seen the time, I probably would have just did a base spawn anyway, because there's no way with a server reset I'm going to get my 
about that. Well, that's that's not necessarily true because I got killed with a landmine one time right at server restart, and I went back after, and my gear was still there. So player bodies persist sometimes through the server reset. Yeah, but with the amount of swimming I gotta do to try and find it, it's not worth it. You're not gonna find it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, my guys. I think I'm just gonna log out here in the woods. Cause I'm too far from fucking base to glory. Like I'm in uh, A2, down by the coast. Yeah. Fucking that's a long run back there. I'll get back to base before to you do, and yeah. maybe oh, I. Yeah. Tomorrow's Saturday, right? So. Yeah. We'll try and get one of the boys on to come pick us up. Yeah. And bring a truck with food in it. Yeah, no My guy's starving and dying of thirst. No kidding. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. All right, man, good playing with you. Okay, nice. Take care. Bye. Yeah, that's rough. Feel bad for the guy. I really don't expect to find the airplane here either, but I've got this, like, weird, fantastical hope. I don't know. I wish, uh... I wish my fame points weren't so precious, because... I could just respawn back to base and grab the other airplane and start flying. And then I'd know at least if this airplane here landed safely or if it exploded into a ball of fire. Right now there's no way to know. Yeah, there's no vehicle up here either. Hmm. Well, I think this is going to be the end of the stream because... Basically, I've just got a lot of running to do, if I'm going to do anything at all. Uh, one option I have that's not killing myself and respawning is I could build a box, put my stuff in the box, build a shovel, bury it, and then just run super lightweight back to base. I, I wonder if I have food on me. I've got a couple of MREs and plenty of water, so I could do a, a pretty good run, especially if I went very lightweight. Right, because right now I'm carrying 39 kilograms. It's actually not that much. Um, I mean, it, it's a lot, but I'm used to carrying more than that. So I think that might be what I do. I'm going to reach out to some friends, and if nobody's if nobody can come online, that's probably what I'll do is build a box, hide it or bury it somewhere, and then run back to base and uh, I'll see what I can figure out. I'll come back tomorrow and we'll keep streaming. If we have to steal another plane, we steal another plane. But that's going to wrap it up for tonight. I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'm Musical Mayhem, this is Scum, and I'll see you all in the next stream. Have a good night.